and welcome everyone from all around the world. We are in Las Vegas at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino at the CSI Expo, where Predator and Rums of Puerto Rico present the Predator WPA World 10 Ball Championship, a true international field with players sent by their country's federation. 64 players began play four days ago here in Las Vegas, competing for a quarter of a million dollar prize fund. We are down to the final four. This is a semi-final match between Japan's Naoyuki Oi and Estonia's Denis Grabe. The winner will move up to meet either Federgorst or Carlo Biado in the final. This is George Teichea joined by pro player and Moscone team member Chris Reinhold. Hey George, this is going to be an awesome match. Can't oh. wait to sweat it. Uh, sweating is, I mean, this is why we're here, to sweat it. Uh, who won the lag there? Nayuki won, Nayuki, I believe. Nayuki, okay. Nayuki Oi, of course, is a character and a half from Japan. Uh, he is also a uh, 2021 uh, runner-up to the World 10 Ball. To, uh, let's see, he ran up to, was it Kopi, Kopini? Koping Chung, excuse me. No. To Eckling Kachi. Yeah, I believe it's Kachi. Yeah. And actually, in, th in that same year, he provided us with a memorable match between Johan Chua that I'll never forget. It was just that match had everything a pool match could have. Uh, he is sponsored by How Tips, Owl Gloves, Unlimited Jump and Brake Cues. And um, off and breaking. Yeah, I like playing the one in the corner, and where he's lining up is good for the two in the side. I think it's too weird to come across and stun in between the 5-7 with the cue ball. It's kind of like a little too wild to start out. So I think just kind of taking what the table gives you here is the best bet, as often it is. But especially now, you know, you don't try to do anything too crazy when you haven't got a feel for the table yet. So, yeah, let's see if he can stun in between the 6-8 or if he can follow in between the 6-2. Just like that. And he has to give himself, uh, he might have to settle for a cut shot here because you don't want to try to go to the middle of the table because you might hook yourself on the 6 or the 5-8. Probably draw into the 6. Yeah, slightly like that. You don't want to hit it too hard and get it close to the 5 on accident. Yeah. That I've done that quite a few times. Exactly. That. You, you hit that with draw and say, well, I'm going to stay there. But then you push the 6 ball right on top of the 5 and you go, what did I do? Great shot by Naoyuki. Playing very, very well this tournament. Um, yeah, very much a rhythm player. Yeah, he started out uh, with an opening round loss to Kopin Yi, but then went ahead and... Uh, Defeated Mohamed Berjoni, Yannick Pongers, Luca Men, and Yip Kin Ling Leo in straight sets. He's only had one, uh, he hasn't had a shootout yet. Uh, and in the last 16, he defeated Skyler Woodward, Bader Alawaldi. And here he finds himself with Dennis Grabe trying to meet either Gorst or Diado in the finals. We've been provided with some great pool these past days. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've just been, it's been one big, uh, you know, ah uh, moment for me because I don't watch this much pool generally. Mm -hmm. But since I've been commentating, I've had to. Yeah. Or got to. There you go. That's right. And uh, I think I've it's revitalized my want to watch more pool because I've discovered a few shots from Feder Gorse, especially the last match I did where he, he, hit three shots differently that I didn't even think of mm. possibilities to hit and I thought maybe he got a little lucky on that I realized he played that ball. Yeah. Uh, you see a lot of great pool from right here. I've had the pleasure and the honor whatever you might want to call it you know for for years now to watch these guys in action right here and around the world and they're always coming with something to surprise you and all of it is world class is the only thing you can say to it. And I'll tell you, I think, you know, you're young and you're coming up in the world, in the pool world. This will really help you um, uh, with the visualization game and, uh, you know, with your execution and 
starting to do what these guys do all the time. You got it straight up the ladder, my friend. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. His grip is so high up. I realized that he doesn't use the back of the cue a ton. But it's working. It, it worked real well. Him. Got the first game. In fact, on his cue, if you'll notice, uh, ladies and gentlemen, when you're watching, he's got a small, a small band there, a small piece of leather, or uh, string, whichever it is, um, that where he puts his hand. It's not as big as the regular ones. Uh, so, he, and he holds the cue a little further back. Did you notice that on his cue? Hmm. Just yeah, about yeah. that big. It's just a, uh, you know, uh, maybe eight inch instead of the normal wrap size, whatever the wrap size is. 12, I think. I'm not sure what a wrap size is. Well, we didn't, didn't see much of Dennis at the table. Yeah, not yet. But, you know, I've noticed that I think a lot of these people are breaking from the side, but I feel like the move is to break from the middle area because you're giving yourself the best chance to run out if you do make a ball. And I think that's what you need at this high level is just the best chance if something goes right. I, ag I agree. The only thing I can <laughs> disagree with is that if you don't make a ball, your opponent has a great chance to run out. And when you break from the side, it's more a tactical game. But the guys have gotten to a point where they can really pocket that one ball to the side pocket. Uh, and they've got it working pretty well. And this table has been racking great all 11 days that it's been on this floor. Yeah, I'm just saying just try it maybe the first sure. rack or two and see how it plays out. And if it, you know, it's the worst thing you've ever done, then you don't do it. But uh, I feel like a lot of people don't even try it. And then their opponent tries it and they make a few balls and they get off going. Then they're up to a two, three game lead and... It's a whole big world of difference, confidence-wise, too. Yeah, the pro players, uh, as you've noticed and as you know, uh, will move around to find the more successful area to break from on every table. Every table breaks a little different. A um, lot of factors involved. You can have brand new cloth, and after it's used by the pros, uh, with a spot or without a spot, there'll be a little indent there that prevents it from racking really, really good, and that's made by the cue ball hitting the one ball uh, while it's still in the air, and it pushes it down. And uh, they, there's things that they do to bring that back up almost every day so that you don't have that hole in the cloth effect. And when I say hole in the cloth, I don't mean a hole, but the little tiny divot that, that is created by beating down on the ball. Yeah, Nick, you're looking to make a smooth out here. I think it's going two rails off this. A little bit of left spin, grip that near that corner right hand pocket as you see it, good kind of tight in there. Come out two rails to Bowery is that now, maybe a little more to the left of that. Just like that. And he doesn't want to be straight, but he could be there and that's totally fine. He could play the nine in the bottom left hand corner if need be. I would just like to stun it maybe three and in two inches to the left of where the eight ball is now and shoot it from there and just roll down for the 10. Let's see if he brings it back and comes to the side. No, he stays right there for it. That's more angle that I want. That's okay though, he's good. Yeah. Let's hit it with a nice medium stroke, but make sure you get through the ball. So I'd rather be there than dead straight, to be honest. Sure, exactly. I agree with that. And he's perfect. Yeah, just like that, he's up 2-0, and we haven't even seen Dennis grab it yet except a leg. That's two, that's two breaking runs in a row, right? Yeah. What a way to start a match. Every pool players and professional players Dream start. Now, I wonder how you would feel if you're Dennis Grabe and uh, your opponent breaks and runs out the set. I mean, what can you, how can you feel? It's just whatever, you know. You yeah. can't, you can't you do anything it. about it. And he's drinking smart water, so he's ahead of the game. 
None of that dumb water the other yeah. people drink. You know. I think you'll get some good ideas from that water. Well, it looks pretty promising so far. Well, one of the things we didn't cover so far is the game is 10 ball. Best of five sets. Races to four. If the score is tied at three in the deciding set, a shootout determines the winner. It is WPA rules, and there are no early tens, and winner breaks. All right, so he's breaking again from a little bit to the left on your screen. And he's looking for that one ball to track up to the corner. Oh, he's scratching the side. Uh, See, he kind of rushed a little bit on that break, the timing of it. Right, so the deceleration of the break causes it to lose the force, and then you see when they when the cue ball pops back, that's when the, you know the follow through was good. When it doesn't pop back and it goes on the side, that means the follow through wasn't there, so the 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 force didn't come back off the rack. Now, see, by saying that, you just solved all my problems when I break. I'm not following through. Yeah, the follow through is the most important part in the break. Remember, just head and hand down through the ball. That's it. I mean, there's more. Uh, there's more to that, that obviously, but you know that's a good start. Dennis Grabe, last year, right here on these tables, was fifth in the world ten ball. He was also fifth in Michigan. Uh, top 32 finish in the Alpha Las Vegas Open. He also was uh, fifth in Arizona. He has got some great high finishes. Three-time Euro Tour winner. He's sponsored by Predator. And Team Estonia. And a big hello to Christina Tekach, who is our runner up to the ladies women's showdown. Provided us now. There was a, another an, another player that uh, gave us a first match run out. She uh, uh, took over the break on the opening rack from uh, her opponent and then proceeded from Cho and, and proceeded to close the set out without Cho, with Cho never coming to the table. Really? In the first set, yeah, playing nine ball. This is in the finals? This is in the finals. It was a fantastic final. Wow. Yeah, nothing to hang your head about. No, oh, hats off to that young lady. She played a great match. Uh, didn't win it, but you know you can't win them all. You know, one time I lost, and someone told that to me, and I said, "Well, I'd like to at least win one." <laughs> yeah, let me win the first one. She's also looking at that. She's 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 had lots of wins, but that would have been a great title. You know what? I actually would have been great there is the oh, possibilities. Well, Her winning that women's showdown. And then Feder winning this world ten ball. How would you like that? Uh, the, the couple hmm. takes home one hundred and ten grand. Yeah, that would have been an awesome storyline. Yeah. Um, but the thing was, I went two and out, uh, so it's not like you know. I'd like to at least win one. Well, uh, it's different if you get to the finals and lose. That's totally understandable. But I mean, come on. It's okay, Chris. I I, I have a habit of going two and out in many tournaments. I mean, I was only seven hundred there, and it was a five fifty and under tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but just some of those 550s are sandbaggers, dude, and you know it. I'm just joking. I know you are. <laughs> so but yes, you're, you are. No, you're not. You're 100% <laughs> true. That is 100% true. All right, so a few fans kind of piling in here as they're waking up <laughs> after a long Vegas night. Um, and you can hear he's probably going to go offensive. I don't see why you wouldn't because if you're going to go defensive, you might play the two – on the side left hand rail and then play the cue ball behind the ten, but I think he's gonna go for this. I mean you know his weapon in his tool case is a very big hammer and he likes to use it. Sometimes you need a screwdriver, other times you need something else, but I saw an interview uh with Naoyuki Oi on what's in the case. And he must have pulled out eight gloves. Did he pull out a screwdriver? No. no. Yes, he did. He did. He, he pulled out the, the the tool for the back of your cue, the oh little hex, yeah. the little yeah. hex thing. Yeah, he pulled that out. But yeah, he had eight gloves, and uh, he was asked which one he was going to use, and he said, the one that matches my outfit. Oh, of course. 
and you can see the red and see the red the red on his glove too. Oh, he wasn't joking. No, he wasn't joking. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> He's not joking about his pool game either. He's serious as you can get. Back at the table, Broken ran the first two racks and on his way to uh, closing this one out. Dennis came to the table for a short time, but allowed his opponent back. Yeah, if you look up rhythm player in the in the dictionary, you'd get a picture of Nuki Oi. Mm -hmm. He's very, very just, you know, plays at his own pace at all times yeah. and kind of gets himself hyped up for every shot. And his cue is a little different. His cue, uh, pl his hand placement on his cue on the backhand, it's a little further up than parallel. Is that horizontal or parallel? It's parallel, right? Vertical. Yeah, yeah, vertical. Yeah, Not even in the... <laughs> 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 Whatever, his yeah. elbow to his hand. I it, think it's it slightly lies inward. Is it inward a little bit or back? Yeah, yeah, that's inward a little bit. Okay, just a hair. I just yeah. noticed that. I, I thought it was back because of where he has his uh, wrap on the cue. Yeah, but the good thing is it keeps it compact and it makes it repeatable, which is very good for... See, look how it's, see how it's right, just slight. Yeah, just a hair. So on power shots where he has to hit the ball or draw the ball, he'll actually go a little further back on the cue. He has to because his hand's further forward already. Yeah, yeah. So that's why his elbow comes through as well, through the shot, because he has he's already choked up. So once he goes through, there's not a lot of things, so his elbow has to go in as well. Yeah, 3-0 start. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> Ideal. it's a dream start for him, right? Ideal. I mean, Dennis lost him a test or two, and he just... He passed the test? Yeah. A+. plus. <laughs> He, he must have had the cheat sheet. The spark notes, maybe. He just knew his stuff. The smart one. The easy way to pass tests is know your stuff. If I don't get a smart water sponsorship from this, I, I feel like <laughs> they need to bleep this out on the YouTube. Uh, we'll send them a text. Okay, good. You have their number? Uh, as a matter of fact, I do. Awesome. I used to have all kinds of numbers. Break in again from the center. Basically center. I, I keep in mind that we have to uh, be very um, precise about our wording. Otherwise, we'll sometimes get criticized for it. Eh. Not that it matters, but <laughs> it's kind of fun to think of it that way. <laughs> to think well, I can affect someone's day in that way makes me happy. <laughs> Riley's going to have to keep this one close. He's going to have to be pretty tight with his position on the three ball. He wants to come back for the four, Chris? Would you play the combo on the eight? I do like the, the thought the three eight combo just yeah. because it opens up and that four ball is so close to the rail it's a little tougher to get position on the carom. No, I think uh, uh, the hats yeah, either way the carom looks good too. And the fives the, the fives Handy there for the four. Carry him off the four, excuse me. Yeah, I think it's all preference, though. Yeah. So if he feels like the carom is better, then he will do that. I don't know. Oh, I'm he better get by this. I it's like. got to go. I think he's okay. But I also liked going two rails on that just because easier control. Yes. He may not be there. He's shaking his head. He doesn't have to do too much because he can uh, probably carry him the, the eight from the four. He's not there. I don't, don't think he has to jump too much. It's just a little half ball maybe. Uh, less than that. But yeah. this is still not kind much. of a, a weird shot to jump. You're elevating. Yeah, it's tough. Exactly. Big opportunity. Behind the five with the cue ball. Depends. As long as you can, as long as you miss the six coming down with the three. I might actually just put them behind the six here. Because you try to put them behind the five, the three either comes out a little too much to get the cue ball behind the five or not enough. And if you're trying to, yeah, just I mean, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that, but I think it's not bad. I think the, I like the, just keeping it simple behind the six, personally. 
But if he feels like he can do it, good for him. Yeah, good shot there. Just yeah, still going that way there. Well, it is available to the one rail kick, but just a great shot. If I know Niyuki, I know he's going to hit this with a lot, at least a little bit of speed. <laughs> he's going to hit this very firm. Well, he wants to come up a little bit. He doesn't, you know, he, he doesn't might have to do too much. He might kick, make it, and draw it back if he hits it with enough speed. Sounds dumb, but no, I've it seen it him do it. I, I, I I've know seen exactly him do what it. you're saying. Plus, you know, he's smarter right now from the water. Going back to that one, okay. So you hit it with the, with the oh, no. Opened well. up the rack there. That just changed the lay of the land. And now everything's open for Dennis Grabe. You know, in head-to-head -head, uh, matches with the common opponents, Dennis is at a 51.5% playing the same people that Oi has played, and Oi is at a 52.2%. They've met four times since 2018, and each player has two wins. Interesting. I wonder what my record is against both these players. I could tell you. Just remind me after the match. Dennis. Okay. Well, you can use your own. Uh, I have a I have the head-to-head -head, uh, app from... Uh, from Fargo. I am zero and z zero and zero against Dennis. You've never played him. Hundred percent win win rate. Now uh, let's try Oi. Dennis making quick work of this and quick work is what it takes. He's in 817. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Oi's in 817 and Dennis is a 797. Oi is the 17th highest ranked player by Fargo in the world. And Dennis is a 56. So I actually won the first two times we played and lost the three next three times we played against Niyuki. So you're 50%. 41% win rate in the game total. Interesting. Against an 817, that's a good record. And Dennis is on the board. Trails one to three in a race to four. Yeah, it's a good feeling to finally get on the board after your opponent opens up so well. We've got a few fans interested at well, it's early 10 23 in the AM, right? It's early. It's 10 23 AM here in Las Vegas. And uh, the ballroom has quite a few people in it, but it's, it's finals days, even for the CSI Expo. Close to 7,000 uh, amateur players playing on 320 uh, seven foot apex predator tables on the Arcadia cloth, the Arcos balls. And um, so our stands are a little light. People are still uh, sleeping in Las Vegas. Well, they just prefer to stand off the camera angle, right? So, I mean, they have, we're packed on the sides. They well, just don't show you that camera angle. Keep in mind, they're recovering from Friday night in Vegas. That's right. See, to me, being retired every night's Friday night. Yeah, I guess so. So I go to bed early. There you go. If I ever go to bed before 11 o'clock at night, <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> Big break from Dennis. I think he hits him so hard. I think he hits him too hard. There goes the six. The six ball does not agree with you. That was the two and the but six. But I do. <laughs> the last rolling ball goes in the hole for Dennis, and he's got an opening shot on the one, but he's tree-topped. He's a taller guy. I think he'll be okay. It does make a difference. They handle these shots a lot better than us uh, that are vertically challenged. That's what I've heard. 
I need to rent a pair of stilts and <laughs> try and see if, that's, if the rumors are true. Let's go back to the 70s and use platform shoes. They'd have to be some pretty big platforms. <laughs> <laughs> they used to be. <laughs> a whole foot. Uh, I've I've seen oh I've seen women nowadays uh, wear the, the big shoes uh, what eight inches high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some guys too. Big shot by Dennis. Trailing one to three. Can't afford to let uh, Nayuki back to the table. Overcuts it in the side pocket. Almost drains it, but no. Now Yuki's coming back to the table with an open shot on the one. Yeah, when you're jacked up and using a little bit of English like that, it cuts yeah. so easy because you're elevated. It's going to spin a lot more. And I'll tell you another thing about him being elevated. That cue he's, uh, that predator cue he's using is an 11.8. A Revo shaft, and with that small of a diameter um, ferrule, you better be accurate on your hit on the cue ball because it moves the cue ball quite a bit. You yeah, let's see how Nayuki navigates this. It's touchy if you go between the eight and the surrounding balls. He goes behind it. No, tried he hits to. it and almost got hooked. He's kind of fortunate to get a good shot there. Yeah, he's very fortunate, but and I think he knows that. Yeah, it's n I don't know that it's a good shot because he's on the rail. And there you see Hintaras from Luithiania, our referee, also a.k.a. Genie. One time I had one of these shots, and I actually, <laughs> on my backstroke, I went to go hit the ball, and I hit the point, trouble, and, and it stopped, stopped my cue. <laughs> eh, he could jump this. I said sarcastically after seeing the other, the angle. Yeah, he's going it. Oh, he's getting his extension, okay. Extension for the kick shot. Yep, yep. Close. And what you heard in the background was the buzzer, basically. 30 second time clock. They have 30 seconds uh, between shots. One extension per game. But they actually have 60 seconds after the break where they can plan their attack for the whole rack. And uh, a lot of players take advantage, some don't. Players that take advantage of that 60 seconds are probably in these final four that we have. These two gentlemen here and Gorst and Beato. Yeah, he's good here on the correct side. Doesn't need to do anything with the cue ball. Just stun it there, stop it right there. And then this is all preference. I like to go in between the eight and the rail here with a little bit of high, high right English. Uh, he might go in between the 8-10, though. No, yeah, there you go. I think he went a little too far, but he can just slow drag this with left low left English and bring the cue ball a little closer to the 8 than it is now. Yeah, kind of took what he could because he's reaching a bit. And this is more of a, a, a s basically a, a stop, like a stun follow through. Just slightly. You don't want to stop it there because you have too much angle. You have to stop it and then follow through just a little bit. Nice level stroke, center English. Should come forward just like that. Oh, he used all that pocket as he's allowed to, I guess. That's why they're four and a quarter inches. You can use them all, use it all. The newer cloth, it slides in, but at that speed, they don't necessarily slide in. Either way, it's two to three. He's closing the gap. He's not letting Oi get away with this. He says, if you leave me a shot, I'm going to punish you. 
making a statement there. We have uh, had some, some fans come in to watch these two gentlemen. We'll have some more. For, the, for those of you watching now, uh, the final match will be at 2.30 Pacific time between Gorst and Beato. No, I'm sorry, excuse me. It'll be, they'll face Gorst or Beato. I believe they are playing right now on table number one. Which, let's take a look at how they're doing. Gorse leads Beato three to one in the first set. What an unbelievable cue ball there. That cue ball jumped back and landed in the middle of the ta middle yeah. of the table. It was amazing. He's you know well he's a, he's a big guy so he's got a long swing, uh, but uh, he strikes the ball very hard and with good control. Yeah, his timing is really yeah. well, really good. Yeah. Interesting. Up against the six. Well, he. He's got a good two rail kick to the right. Or just a one rail kick with a little bit of spin if he wants. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna kick from behind. Be careful of the scratch in the l upper right hand corner here. Good call, Chris. Uh, he, he was able to, he got deeper, he wasn't trying to make the ball. Had he been trying to make the ball, that could have happened. I shoot those shots a lot playing one pocket. I'll shoot them right from my pocket. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they come right back. Trying to put him behind the eight here off the left side of the one. Middle left. More spin than speed here. There you go. Great shot. Good speed. Probably going for the jump cue here. Or he's going to come two rails, in my opinion. I like that shot. Two rails seems like the obvious kick. Unless you want to hit it one rail with speed. Probably not. He's going to hit it three rails behind it, and the cue ball should slide into that 4-9, which is the shot I was looking at. He hit the wrong side of it and was rewarded. Good example of making a good hit. Yeah, exactly. Thinning off the edge of this one, if you want to get real fancy, you can try to thin it even thinner and come behind the five, one, two, three rails. But that requires quite a bit of courage to shoot that shot. And maybe, if, since, uh, since it's my suggestion. A little bit of lunacy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of dumb water, so <laughs> it would make sense. Well, dumb water is better than tequila. Depends on the occasion. That's <laughs> true. Oh, he got away with it. He got away with it. Yeah, very odd placement of the one in the queue here. I mean, he could maybe thin the one and go behind the six potentially. But either way, he just left really weird on this ball. <coughs> Dennis taking a long look at this. He can see enough to cut it. I like this shot. You got to be careful with the double kiss. It's close, but he's going to get right by it with a little bit. There you go. Made it. Mm. No, he didn't. Well, he got as close as he can to making it. Well, that get, it sucks that that's not his pocket because that would be a great shot if that was his pocket. Sure. Well, you'd be forcing your uh, opponent to shoot the six or the ten. Yeah, maybe it wouldn't be a great shot. Never mind. But yeah, good try there by Dennis. Good effort. Yep. Oh, that is a great shot. 
and I'll tell you why I think it was great. With the ball hanging that deep, I would say 80 to 90% of the time you follow it in. You hit the rail on the ball at exact time. Yeah, you have to hit that with speed and a little bit of draw or stun. So that way it doesn't follow it in. You have to hit it very, very interestingly unlucky to follow that ball in from with that speed. Oh, wow. That was a really strong shot. Real really first. strong yep. shot. Sure was. He came to play today, I'll tell you that. Yeah. And the rest of the days, I guess, because he got to he got, he to got here. He's been playing the uh, he had he did a good job in the Las Vegas Open, and he's doing a better job in this Predator WPA World Ten Ball. Sixty four players were invited by their federations. Predator has four wild cards that they can put in uh, to this tournament. All the rest of the players are selected by their country's federation. For many of you asking, why doesn't this player play or that player play? Ask your federation. Yeah, email them at uh, yourfederation at gmail.com. That's it. Or is it Yahoo? Maybe, maybe Yahoo. It's been around for a while. I was going to say something sarcastic, but I'll keep it to myself. Hotmail? I'm Yahoo. Yahoo. A little short on that bank. But might be able to get him behind this six. No clue. Federgors has closed out the first set and leads one set to zero over Beato. Still a lot of pool to be played there. Oh, much. That is for sure. What a match we were treated to yesterday by Gorst and Albin Ocean. One of the best matches you probably ever see. Oh, yeah. You commentated it. Yeah, I was there. I was Partially. in the crowd. <laughs> you know, as much as I like commentating this in these matches, there's matches like that where I would have just liked to enjoy watching that. That was like almost no words are needed for that match. Yeah. You know, the problem with the, with doing the commentary on wow. so many matches, oh, great shot, is they run together in your mind afterwards and you can't remember them. Yeah, you got to rewatch them. Yeah, and that's as a fan, you know. I, can, I, I do it on mute because I can't stand the sound of my own voice. <laughs> how do you think we feel? No, See how his cue is? How how yeah, it, yeah. That, that back is right there for his hand? Oh, got a little kiss right there from the A. Yeah. Welcomed it. Very, very good there. I call those nibbles. Got a little nibble and got behind the A. You know, there's a few words in the dictionary, in the English dictionary, that just kind of make me feel weird. A nibble is one of them. I don't know why. No clue. <laughs> I have no clue why. <laughs> when I when I think of nibble, I think uh, I, I think, think of, of a uh, fish. Uh, no, I think of a bunny rabbit uh, uh, on a on a leaf of lettuce. Interesting. Well, maybe I wouldn't, <laughs> if, if I had that. It wouldn't be weird, huh? Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be <laughs> weird for me if I had that <laughs> image that goes in my mind, you know? Oh, boy. My, the image that comes to my mind isn't fit for TV, so. Here we go. <laughs> Six on the side. He's debating which one. How he wants to get on this? I wouldn't be opposed to making the seven in the top right corner and trying to float over there. It's not a great shot, but if you, it gives you a bigger window. I That's fine too. Perfect that, that was the correct shot. The only thing I don't like about that is, uh, for a lot of amateur players, their nerves run together and they might not make it past the ten ball. So I kind of hesitate or think twice before trying to cross the back of a ball that might hook me. I totally get it. Yeah, he shot the correct shot for those people out mm -hmm. there. Yuki Oi. Wonder what the post game interview is going to sound like if he wins. He's always good about interviews. He always uh, goes out of his way to be humorous. Yeah, and when you hang out with him just one on one and just at the tournaments, mm -hmm. he's the same exact way. Yeah. You can tell when you when I was talking to him prior to the to the event before this match, excuse me, to get the information and uh 
He's very, very, uh, he likes He likes to be funny. He's a very genuine person yep. as well. And so here we go. Sorry, George, no, go ahead. you're fine. You're pretty great. And the first set goes to Naoyuki Oi. Players will take a little break, and I think we'll catch a little uh, smart water drink so we can catch up with these guys and keep you uh, hopefully informed. We do our best. Be back soon. And we are back to live action here. Both players back. A little bit of uh, stat review provided by the stat guys, Avi Pandey and Michael Salmon. Break success so far. Grappe the best with 100% break success. No fouls on the break. Missed shots. Uh, Grappe with two. Now Yoki with zero. Both players have returned safeties pretty well and grab it a break in the second set. Oi won the break, so won the lag, excuse me, so he got the break first. Six ball goes straight into the pocket. Cracked right behind the one, so it goes to the side pocket, designated side pocket that the players play it to when breaking from the middle. So an open rack for... Um, Mr. Grabe, he's going to push out here for the, I, I might just go ahead and just kick this one ball and send it uphill and stick it right there, keep the cue ball there. Yeah, I think that's what he's thinking. He might retract the kick or the push. The push. Maybe he's selling for a jump the, shot. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. There's only one window, and that's between the two and the three, and the cue ball, the one ball has to stay over by that side pocket of the, on the same side. I feel like you're going to have to kick anyway. Sure. So you Sooner might as or later. Well, you might as well do it now. Yeah, it lays nice for it. 
And if he's able to kick it right past the three on the inside of the three in the rail, it would go safe. Yeah, I might leave a jump for the 1-9 combo. That might be what they're thinking. Well, oh, I could do that right there. Oh, I didn't get behind. Yes, he did get the one ball might be there. Yeah, he has the one. And here, the shot's already so tough, you might as well just go for the one. Yeah, so if you go for the one a little bit of high English, you might run into the five. But the thing is, the 2-9 is a little weird. So go see if the 2 can pass the 9. I think that's what he just saw. But, I mean, you kind of have to go for this. You can't just pass up shots that are given to you because you're not going to get a ton of them. Well, one of the things about pool is you got to make the ball to win. And there you go. You can only play safe so many times. So, as you said, time to go. Giving up a straight in shot on the one. The two ball out in the middle of the table. I like that positional play. Comes in for a straight in shot on the deuce, a stop shot for position. The four handy in the middle of the table. The five on a good line from the four. Everything looks to be in order. That's the easy thing about rotation pool is you, you know what ball you're going to shoot next all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In one pocket, you have five different shots or three different options. Yeah, the right one, the wrong one, and the one I shoot. <laughs> Shot there. Staying, he's staying within himself here, which is really good. See ball, make ball. Keeping it simple. See ball, make ball. I like that, Chris. That's a good one. He might stun off this rail. Yep. A little draw for the seven in the same pocket. Just spin off the rail slightly. Good bump there. Didn't try to do that, but he definitely came out really good on it. It looked like he almost miscued on that shot when the when the when the cue goes through the ball. It looked like it uh, it didn't grab. He didn't miscue on this one. No. And uh, Oi again off to a good start on the second set. Oh, I had oh, to say it. I had I to say it, George. No, no, just you I'm just cannot kidding. blame me for uh, commentator curse. You just can't. Sorry. Well, I, the thing is, we can. We just, you just don't believe it. That's true. I don't believe in it. It's 30 feet away. He just wanted to give the, the viewers some close sets is all. But if you notice what he did, he missed that ball, went back to his chair, and had another sip of smart water. Yeah, he must have gotten low. Well, Dennis is liking this. Does he slow roll this, or does he go around the horn there and come back up for the 10 ball? I'll let you know after this ball. I think you got to go around. Yeah, you can't, you can't risk slow rolling this. It's too thin of a cut. And <laughs> low and slow. Low left. And slow. A little low right here, probably. Ding. Dun -na -dun, dun -na -na. And instead of Oi taking the opening game in the second set, Dennis Graber from Estonia has his first lead in a in a set. One zero. In his first bite of that cookie. 
It looked like a, some kind of a granola bar. Whatever it is. I'm sure he's loving it. He's got three drinks over there. None of them smart water. We'll see if... Uh, Oh, I don't know why he's switching up. Why would you switch up? You just had three successful breaks. Yeah, he's, his break success is at 100%. Wow. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Now, now it makes sense to me. <laughs> Look at this, and it, this is why. If he keeps breaking like this, <laughs> always going to be in his chair for a long time. He said this is why. Yeah, Dennis breaking very, very well. It's easy to see why he's in this final four. Estonia. Don't want to get on the rail here. Well, he'll probably he play position for the three up in the corner pocket, past the six. The, oh, it may not go by the eight. Yeah, I think he might play for the side, the low right, the, the, the middle right side, or he might actually just let it stroke out and fall for the three in the same pocket potentially, or play the three in the upper left, upper right hand corner by the nine. There's three pretty good options. What about the three six combo? Mm, not a huge fan if you don't get good on the shape there. Like, see, he got a little weird on this. But what you're trying to say is he had a plethora of options. Yeah, that word of options. Yep. However you say that. And that's Jeannie, our Quintada. Is from, he's from Lithuania. I didn't like that. He's quite a character, too. You might have to bank this ball. <coughs> he's not happy. Can't bank the ball. So it goes right into the point. Well, that attitude, you definitely can't bank the ball. And it doesn't go. <laughs> it might cut. Yeah, he was trying to cut it. He might have gone a little yeah. too thin here, George. Yeah, he did. And now Oi with a chance to bring this back to 1-1. One, one. He's not happy about that. I feel like he just kind of got up and hit it and didn't really put a good stroke on it, you know. If you're going to if you're going to play that ball, you have to hit it with the pace to make it, right? Yeah. You don't just try to baby it and play for position cuz yeah. well, first you got to hit the ball. That shot Legally. to me, that shot to me you hit with a lot of left-hand English and you spin away from it and it spins the ball up cuz you got to beat that corner and it's such such a thin cut. Yeah, hard to judge also cuz yeah. he's jacked up. But he, uh, I think the shot clock might have been an issue for him there. Boy will gladly take the spoils there. And uh, two more balls to get a win out of it. Tie things up at one. Oi, for the win of the game, 1-1. One, one. Now Yuki Oi. Rocking that handlebar, handlebar beard, like a boss. I might have to do this. If he wins this event, I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to do the handlebar beard. What do you think? Give it a go. Can't do any worse, right? <laughs> <laughs> If Alison Fisher was here, she'd agree and just say, I think it'd look lovely, Chris. Give it a go. Give it a go. If you just joined us, in the booth is pro player Chris Reinhold and myself, George Tejaya. He's going to... Put the kibosh on this. 
Wow. 3 6, a little weird. Favorable kiss making the four wall in the side. Shot on the one. And as Chris just told you, the 3 6 is a little weird. It needs, it's going to need some attention soon. And people are waking up in Las Vegas and coming to watch this match. Yeah, it's one of those those situations just makes you go, hmm. <laughs> one of those hmm moments, huh? That's right. <laughs> the guy in the stands there was asleep. Thoroughly enjoying the match, I see. Oh, that's fall asleep Randy. You don't know who that is? <laughs> Never met him before? Never met him before. Oh, okay. Reminds me and uh, uh, reminds me of myself in school. Yeah. I saw this name. I saw this name someplace today. In fact, it's so much fun to say. I just saw it in the YouTube chat. And it says Toshihiro Takahashi. That's that is a good one. That is a good it's one. I'm going to let you say, say it every time. Because <laughs> I'm not trying to say that word. <laughs> That's an amazing name. It goes It goes together, you know. I actually saw it on Facebook this morning. There was something about... Uh, uh, he's a nine-ball champion up there. Tokuhiro Takaka ta uh, Takahashi? Toshihiro. Oh, Toshihiro Takahashi. Uh -huh. Tokuhiro Takahashi. I'm and meanwhile, now Yuki Oi left a two railer if he can get by that five ball to come try to make a hit on his three. Yeah, he's got it. On the screen, it appears a little tough, but it's there. You know who taught me this kick? It's three rail kick. Well, who taught it you? Uh, two rail Dale. Two rail Dale? Yeah, taught you a three me. rail kick? No, no, no. He's gonna go. Oh, he's gonna go three rails. Yeah, he's gonna go three rails. He's called in the other corner. Yeah, three rails. And down. that might stick the cue ball and get him safe. Oh. I think it's gonna come a little short, though. See. That's a little long. <laughs> Is it? Short would be to the left side of the three. Short on the second rail. Short on the first rail. Whatever. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Two real deal didn't explain that to me. <laughs> well, it's okay. Rodney <coughs> Morris explained that to me. How to, how, to, how to measure your two rail kicks. I saw Rodney last night at Griff's. Was he there? Yeah, yeah, he was there. Why isn't he here? Uh, well, he was just there for the night, I guess. I wish I would have gone to Griff's now. I love Rodney. Yeah, totally good dude. Yes. One of the funniest guys I've ever met. Genuinely funny. Yeah. And witty. Very witty. He was the first pro player I ever met that actually was nice to me. Him and Max Eberle were the nicest to me when I was mm -hmm. a junior player. I can see it. And now both, all three of us are pretty good friends, so it's pretty cool. Wow. Good, good trust of your stroke there. Coming into this uh, six ball from the five, lined up perfect. I personally would, yes. I don't think. Yeah, I mean, you kind of have to. It just lays weird. You know, but um, coming off the nine, you don't want to. Oh, wow. He's playing. He was trying to play to get to the rail and then play safe from there. But now he's going to have to either thin the six and go just up table with the cue ball and hide behind the nine. Or he could kick at this. It's a little riskier. I, I'm probably just going to go thin the six and go behind the nine. Yeah, it's a higher percentage shot. And I know the other shot you were thinking of uh, was a kick and stick and stick him behind the nine and kick the six ball across the table to hook him behind the nine. But this is, as you just said, better shot.
We almost had a third player in that match. <laughs> Guys walking through the, through the, through the set. <laughs> He tried to offer me the seven ball, but I said I needed the six. And you bet a lot higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spectator tried to walk across the, the arena here, the player's arena, coming in through a door that uh, should be coming in through. Meanwhile, Naoyuki Oi, they're toying with the six ball. I'm going to two rail kick this real soft and just barely hit it. Oh, you can't. The 10 ball's in the way for the natural angle. Yeah, he's probably going. He's probably he's either going to get that 10 ball out of there. Oh, he's going to go ahead and give him ball in hand. Interesting. Yeah, because now, now that he provided a uh, makeable shot. No, no, no. Not now that he got that 10 ball out of there, he's leaving open the kicking angle for next time he does it. So it's less effective. Yeah, he's going to be going two rails at it next time. He might have left a 6-10 combo here. I the ref he will be watching the hit, I'll tell you that. I'm going to see if it's froze. It is. Look, appears to be, excuse me. Good hit. Good call, Chris. Oh, the six ball went in and ruined his party. And then started Dennis's party. Yeah. Well, always very capable of making this shot and getting some position. I'm going to go back and forth. Right. And back. I'm going to go three rails with this cube. I'm going to fire this seven ball to make sure I get on the rail where he's standing now. He's going to do it oh nice and soft. Oh, my goodness. How nice sweet did he soft. hit that ball, wow, George? what a good shot. What a good shot. And our spectators are still asleep because there was no applause. Next time he makes a shot that good, I'm going to get up and clap so everybody can see me. Maybe they'll follow suit. Are you going to jump out to a two-set lead here? It's two to one in the second set. Keep in mind, it's three out of five sets. Races to four. Only time the shootout comes to play is if the third, the fifth and deciding set goes hill-hill. We had five tournaments in the past 11 days. The Las Vegas Men's Open, the Las Vegas Women's Open. The mixed doubles, an exciting format with eight couples playing. And the Women's Showdown, and now this Predator WPA World 10 Ball Championship. The only world championship held in the U.S., on U.S. soil. Except they just brought in, they just brought back the Women's World uh, Nine Ball Championship this past January. Uh, I'm sorry, last year. Wow. In Atlantic City, Predator brought it back, which they've done with several tournaments. The Nine Ball Championship here to the U.S., the World Team Championships. Yeah, I think he might be able to play the five eight combo if he gets good on it. But he might also be able to drop under to play the five in the lower left-hand um, pocket. That's exactly what he's doing. See, he's taking advantage of that minute after the break. 60 seconds after the break. I've seen some players extend, take their extension at that time to really get into it and take care of the rack. And they have their plan of attack all mapped out. Of course, Chris would use his phone and use the GPS. 
That's why they don't allow these on the in the arena. Yeah, it's like uh, Dora's backpack. I got everything. The only reason I know about Dora is I have grandkids, Chris. <laughs> Dora the Explorer? Is that, what is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you know more about it than me. <laughs> I just know her first name, not her last. <laughs> yeah, he might even be running into this. Very. Oh, very well done. Is that what you were going to say? Yeah. If it I think he can slide it by. No, I think he's playing the nine here. Oh, you got to hit it harder than that. Chris is always right. And when I'm not. I'm I still wrong. It. No, no, no. I just don't <laughs> admit it. This five ball bank no, I admit it. I admit it. Oh, that's a cut. Yeah, it's a cut. A little cut shot. Cut a thin to win or thin and in. I think it had more angle than we looked that we saw from the screen. Here, it's really just make the six and you're home free at his skill level. Right? And this is uh, what, it, what looks like a little bit of a simple shot, but doesn't have to be. He hit it good, hit it into the pocket with speed and a sigh of relief once he shot it. I think he'll put the seven and the eight in the same pocket. I know big, big risk by saying that, but and Dennis does not look happy. Well, how would you be happy when you're gonna, when you see your opponent's gonna take a three to zero lead in a race to four? He's got one, he's got one. You can't get two until you get one first, right? There's a lot of truth in that, Captain Obvious. It's a good mindset to have, though. Very. Game by game. Just try to win every game you can. Score is really kind of relevant. $250,000 prize fund for this tournament. $75,000 first prize. $45,000 second, third, and fourth, which is the worst uh, Dennis can do or now Yoki can do if they lose this match is $22,000. Fifth through eighth is 11000 and ninth through 16th have already collected 5250 Not a bad five days' work. Really good payout. Really good. One of the best in pool, if not the best. At seventy-five thousand first prize. Yeah, they're setting the standard for first place prize for sure, and it's going up, which is you know the key there. Predators has been setting the standard for a lot of things and uh, not getting the credit for it, from what I see in social media. One ball passes the five-six, gonna stun over around the middle of the table here, maybe slightly more to the right-hand side. But it looks like good opportunity for Dennis. And to pull within one and only needed two more games after this. So he's in striking distance. Uh, it depends on his, his preference. I like stunning out here and getting above the three. So that way you can stun down for the four. Just like that. The way he chalks is very special. Is it? I don't see a lot of people chalk like that. I'll have to take note. Mike DeShane does. See, look at that. Obviously sponsored by Tyome Chalk, the way he's going through that one. He'd have to be. You know, that'd be 300 a month in chalk. <laughs> Well, I thought the new chalks were designed so you don't have to chalk all the time. 
Well, he's just really grinding into that piece yeah. of chalk. Sure does. Sure does. And then you have people like, you know, Jennifer Breda, who, who used the same piece of chalk for years and years, and they I keep it even. She keeps it even, and I told her, how do you keep it so even? She Grinds said, it down. She just said, don't chalk like a dummy. <laughs> I was like, okay, all right. I, li all I right. like that response. Yeah, she knows me too well. Uh-oh, is it behind the eight? It is, yeah. Oh, uh, see, this is when I, I tend to say there seems to be gravity behind the ball. Uh, each ball has its own force of gravity. Because so you just that end up they do. there invariably. <laughs> <The, laughs> drives you nuts. Literally. <laughs> see, I think he's just right on the edge of being an elite, elite, elite player. But he just does these self-deprecating shots slightly that come into play, I think. And I've just, uh, you know, I think it's just tough to tough to see sometimes because he's such an amazing player. He really is. Nice hit. Did he call it in the side? He it's did. going to go. It's going to go. A nice kiss off the 10. And he ends up with a seven ball in the side pocket where he called it. Oh, what a good roll he got off of that. I and love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> well, it's just like straight pool. Call yeah. the ball in pocket. Yeah, I get it, yeah. Really good stroke there. And you have to hit it to get rewarded, like you were saying. Sure. And it is a uh, well, three-rail kick. At least, you know, you got to be real close. He was close. So good recovery there. And I think I think he just tries to get too perfect on a few of the shots and then ends up overdoing it. But he's right there. He's right yeah, there with right. everyone else. And you're, and you're exactly right, because at a 797 Fargo, I call anybody with uh, 800 or higher elite players. Yeah, he's right up. there. And he's right there. He's three points away. Uh, I wouldn't doubt that uh, with his performance here at, this, at these tournaments here in Las Vegas these past 11 days, he com might come in at over 800. What's his, um, Dennis Grave, what's his uh, robustness in Fargo? Let's see if I can get that for All you. All those real European quick. players have at least 7,500 games, I think. Uh, they don't have a lot as, m as much as the Americans. I'll tell you, I saw some of that. I was kind of comparing th in one of the other matches. Oh, really? Yeah. And, um, well, don't they're, believe they're anything lower. I just said. Some of those matches, some of these guys have, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15,000 games in, uh, in Fargo. Oh, I'm looking for Dennis's robustness. There are way too many 800 Fargos for my liking. <laughs> 11,597 games. Dang. There are... 52 players with a Fargo of 800 plus. Two years ago, there was 32. Pretty awesome. I know that because I remember the first, one of the first or second uh, Predator uh, World 10 balls that I was doing. I looked up how many uh, 800 plus Fargos were there. And that number stood in my mind for a couple of years, a few years. And then just as of late, all these players from wow. uh, the East started coming in and uh, getting on Fargo, and it just shot up. What a shot. He blocked the, ki the obvious kick angle with the 7, put the 2 behind the 5-10. That was a beautiful shot. He's going to two-rail kick it. He's trying to see where it might go. What can I call here? See, on kicks like this, I'm, I don't even care where it goes because for me, I'm just trying to hit this ball. This is he's a tough going, hit. He's going two rails to the opposite side. I didn't think about going that oh. way. Oh, he's, he's just going to go ahead and tie up the four ball, the he's four three. He's just going to try to get three fouled, huh? Well, he's, that's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, Naoki will probably two rails shoot the 
the two ball past the 10 and stop the cue ball in between the 10 and the five. That would be a lockup safe right there. Yep. And you, I, uh, you got to see where would you want the huh? two ball? See, I, I right, that's a big. Oh, he's going to be more offensive. He's going to open up the three four that Dennis wow. tied up, and stick him on the ten ball. Good call there, George. I like that a lot. If I'm Mayuki, right? Yeah. He just constantly well, puts pressure on his opponents. Do you want to take the offensive, you know, uh, or the defensive uh, route here? And that's the difference. He's going offensive. Power of one pocket. Oh, he didn't open it up. Well, he opened it up enough that the three ball now has a pocket uh, past the nine. But yeah, the I mortal sin here is leaving the ball in front of a pocket. You know, they tend to go sometimes when you hit them if you leave it near the pocket. Yeah. Not always, but the possibility is much higher there. He hit it about 20 miles per hour too soft, in my opinion. That's actually a good shot. Yeah, not bad. But the problem is that uh, if Naoki thinks he can make this three ball past the nine, which it looks like he can, with a medium, medium stroke to let it slide in, he can also open up the four for a, a, the side pocket. Yeah, totally, agree. totally agree. Totally agree. And he can also, if he feels like it, just play off the left side of the three and put the cue ball behind the nine if he doesn't like the three. But I think he likes the three here, George. Um, well, he's, he's aggressive. How good was that? And then tied up to eight, nine. Look at the five, 10. Keep in mind though, it's WPA rules. You don't win with a 10. It just spots up and you continue to shoot. So keep that in mind because if he spots the stem ball up and it blocks his shot, he's not going to be happy. He's not going to play any combos. He's going to play the five to the side and run out the rack. Yeah, the eight must pass the nine. Oh. Yeah, but the, the Oh. Ouch. Big miss. The 5 oh didn't yeah. pass the corner of the side pocket. Six in the corner, seven on the side. 8 9 in the same lower left corner, I believe. With a good speed, you can make the 8 pass the 9 if it doesn't if it barely doesn't go. Clean. You know, this is something you don't see very often in a uh, semifinal. Both players lost their opening match in this tournament and have played six matches to get to where they are now. Wow, thank you for that. That's really, <laughs> that's, no, I'm serious. That's really yeah. good. That shows you that they have heart and they won't give up. It's well, easy to get discouraged after that. Oi lost to Coping Yi and Dennis lost to Jason Shaw in a shootout nonetheless. He is tall, but I think he might. Oh, he has an extension on his cue already. Oh, these guys use the the big one. I was gonna, I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> looking at a few inches, not a few feet. Chris, we could use that cue to pole vault. Well, I could use a regular cue to pole vault, but. <laughs> <laughs> that one will work too. Came up short on this one. Let's see if you can stay down through the ball and just secure this wreck. Oh, I thought I missed there for a second. Uh, I thought it went a little too much of a cut. When first hit it, it, it kind of, the camera angle kind of fooled us, and it looked like it might. We are tied at three in the second set. Very important second set, because if Dennis loses it, loses it now he's down 
He'd much rather be tied. And he will be breaking. And his breaks have been, like you said, very successful. Let's take a look at the stats here from uh, Michael Salmon and Avi Pandi, the stat guys. And they very timely put him on the screen for you. So you guys can join me in looking at him. Uh, Dennis is at 67% breaking this mat, this set for a 75% overall. Oh, he is at a 67% for the match. Let's see, uh, missed balls, missed shots. Dennis is at three for the match. Oi is at two. Overall performance for the match so far. Grabe at 796 and Oi at 875. Wow. He crossed those balls a little bit. Oh no. Bad news for Grabe here. The 7 8 might be his only saver. Still kind of hard to get on. The 9's in the way of a few shots, but. I look for Nayuki to do Nayuki things here. And Nayuki things? Yeah, like run out, you know. As, as we look at the lay of the land him. here, Chris, as we look at this, would you consider taking, when you shoot the three ball, opening up the eight with the four ball kind of hanging over the pocket on the right? Oh, that's a picture right there. See with the what? I'm so sorry. Uh, cons consider shooting, when you go from the two to the three, consider opening up, moving the eight ball uh, when you shoot the three. You know, your four ball's kind of hanging over the pocket. It's mm. aggressive, and you're going to leave yourself with a long shot more than likely, but it opens up the rack for you. I have to say no, just because I don't like the long four, mm -hmm. and then the five doesn't have a pocket by the nine. Okay. So... I, I'm not saying I don't think it's a good shot. Oh. Uh, for me personally, I don't think I'd shoot it. Because um, I do think that you can do something with the seven off of the six potentially. Okay. And that's it. That's, that was, I was asking the question, and that was a good answer. Yeah, Hill Hill, if he's up 3-0, I think I'd go for it, for it off the three. So, so you think there's a time to go for it and a time for not to? Yeah. Well... They are at Hill Hill, but he's not going to go for it because he can't get to it now. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. There's also a great safety behind the eight with the cue ball uh, when, you, when he plays the seven. Yeah, yeah, correct. So there's things to do. It's not like they're, they're frozen to each other, right? If they're frozen to each other, I wouldn't go into them. But, but that's why I asked the question. You know, I get your pro advice. Do you get enough angle on here to play the five in the same pocket? Yes. But he can't float by the six. Knowing Nayuki, he might settle for a side pocket or top right hand corner pocket shot off this if he doesn't think the five is easy to get on. As long as he travels that cue ball towards the side, he's on the five. Yeah, but he's okay. It's a good shot here. Perfect. All right, so you playing this on the side with the six? The six. It lays very nice for that, and it also you can follow it up a little bit, just not much, and then just kill your cue ball behind the eight when you shoot the seven. Very touchy. Hill, hill again. Very touchy, hill, hill. I don't know why, but my brain, when it goes hill, hill, is a little Changes. more conservative. Right, see if you got it's too, maybe too much of an angle to go break them out. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to try to break it out. I'm going to stop the cue ball right by the ten ball if I can, just to the right, and then uh, stun the cue ball behind the eight. Yeah, and two this is a seven. really big game because yeah. if he if he goes up two sets, Dennis is going to have to win the next three sets in a row Correct. in order to win. So this is a must win for both of them. That's what makes me like that safety even more now. Oh, my goodness. How did he hit it? Oh. Not so good. Yeah. You got me there. Maybe a soft kick. I don't know if you can see. 
I don't think you'll find a more aggressive player than <laughs> than I am because I I like to I'd rather go for shots, but that safety just when they lay that nice. Better might jump this if he was playing. <laughs> yeah, he, did you see the jump he tried to make yeah. uh, with the ball uh, when they were all tied up in the corner? Yeah, I didn't get it. I think he's going to be seeing a lot of that eight ball when he comes back to the table, potentially. Or you just hit the seven on the left side, and the, it'll stick there. Yeah, no, I think he can have enough. I think he has enough room to go behind the eight here, just very softly. To tuck it in behind the eight? Mm -hmm. That's Just tap it in. Got to get a rail. And there it is. Let's see if that's going to be checkmate for this match. No, he, he he might be able to make this ball. I'm going to kick right back. I'm going to oh try wow. to kick it in the corner he's standing. The angle lays better for that. Yeah, and the seven doesn't even really go in that, in yeah. that, that pocket. Yeah, the, the ten ball's there. See, that, that that was much to me, it was much easier to make it in that corner the way he just kicked it. Wait for it. Yeah. Wait for it. Okay, I think I think that's all that's going to happen for that shot. And a uh, little stunt shot here. It's definitely yes. a tester. Yep. Boy knows how important that exchange is. Or was can he escape it? The unescapable shot. Answer is no. You hit this with a little bit of right English, center right, comes straight past the ten. Yeah, about one o'clock. Right, yeah. I'm gonna start chalking like that. A lot of the guys do it because they have Q sponsors. I mean, uh, chalk sponsors. Thirty dollars a cube. That's a lot of chalk. Yeah. Do you play this in the corner or in the side? Position for the ten. I thought you were talking about the nine. My three roll in the side is on, but wouldn't necessarily shoot a hill hill. Three one maybe. Beautiful stroke there, coming out for the ten. He should be taking the second this, set. This 10 ball to take the second set. Tie things up at set apiece. Dennis Grabe and Naoyuki Oi tied at one. They'll go for a small break. I think we'll get some stats on the screen for you. Um, let's take a look at them real quick before I uh, get something to drink here. Percentage of time at the table. Goes to Oi at 61%, but yet the score is tied. Break success, 67% to Oi. Uh, it goes down to 60% once it uh, refreshed. 67% break success. No, Neither player has fouled on the break yet. Uh, fouls in the match so far. Oi with four. Dennis with three. Missed shots, three by Dennis and two by Oi. Safety efficiency, six, they're pretty tied. 69% for uh, Grabe and 71% for Oi. Some good stats by the stack guys. We'll be right back.
and from any of you out there are always back in the arena. And you just saw Quintaras, the referee, uh, take a look at the racks, see if there's any gaps in the racks. That gives you an idea how concerned they are about racking the balls very well for these pros. And we've seen uh, great breaks here. High percentage by both players on break success. And that just displayed to me why. He is a bit of a perfectionist on the rack and wants to give these guys the best possible. Our sponsors are Q Sports International, Predator, Yalin, Kamui, Samsung TV, Pro Billiard TV, Rumsa Puerto Rico, and Medalla Light. This tournament is played on Predator Apex 9-foot tables with the Arcadia cloth, the arrow rack, the Arcos balls, even the Predator jump cues with a little bat wing on them. There was over $500,000 in prize fund these past 11 days here in Las Vegas at the Rio. Two hundred and fifty thousand of it is right here in this tournament. And one of these players is going to get into the finals where the worst they can do is get forty five thousand dollars of that prize money. The other player will settle for twenty two thousand dollars for a third and fourth place finish. Big break by Naoyuki. Is it going to go back in the hole? Here comes the three boats. Close, but no cigar. I think he's hooked on the point here. Yes, he is. And he'll have a two rail kick at this one ball. Or do you. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and two rail kick it. Go no. rail first off the top. No. Yes, and try to make it. Really? Rail first, yes. No, I'm pushing into the four ball and leaving a kick. Leaving a kick that way. If I have a good angle coming off that eight, <coughs> I'm going for it. Well, I'd love to play you some. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> I'm just joking. There is a record of us on, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 what do you call it? I think I played you in Phoenix one time, played, but it was one pocket. Oh, that's right. That was when Kachi ran the yeah. set out on Alex, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. In fact, I played Kachi, the opening match. It was my opening match. And the next set, he played Alex and put an eight pack on him right from the start, from the flip. So you put him on the loser's side, and then he put an eight pack no, no, on Alex. No, 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 no. He was on the winner's side. No, in fact, I had never seen Kachi before. Uh, it was, uh, and it was the opening match. I stepped up and saw him for the first time. Breaks the balls, break and run, and I just looked over. My wife was sitting there watching. I said, "This guy's world class, on. Huh? I don't think we're going to get the set." You know, you thought you drew some bouncer. Uh, no, at that time he was uh, uh, he was 19 years old. Still 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> yeah, still 6'6", six, six, but he weighed about, you know, a few pounds less because now he's matured a little. And instead of being 19, I think he's 25. Yeah. I think he's jumping this ball. I don't think he shoots regular shots with the jump cue. <laughs> I said, I think he's jumping this ball, and I realized he has a jump cue in his hand. I'm like, good observation, Chris. Didn't do too bad there for the situation. Dennis with a shot, but kind of unsure of where the cue ball is going to go. Five balls pretty big here. You can't really go in between the 5-8 because a big chance you'll hook yourself on the 8. see what the shot is. I like playing the one straight to that middle diamond and back down towards the three and the cue ball behind the seven. That's just me though. I would actually duck this shot. But he's going to go for it. I 
might go behind the four. I didn't even think of this. Yeah, I didn't like that because of eight. But he did okay, I guess. Yes, he did. He got away with one. Now he's got to avoid the avoid the ten ball to get on this three. I think. I mean, he. You could just follow this too. Yes. I like to follow. I think he's gonna stun though. Yeah, I just like to follow. I like it also. And just he like did that as well. Perfect. What is your three to four here? I'm going like? to come straight up and go between the five eight. I'm not going to try to go be all the way up. I'm just going to make sure I'm on that line. Back for the five to the side. Looking good. What a way to start the third set for Dennis. Always started out the match with two breaking runs. Haven't seen one since. We're about to see one here, I believe. He emptied his tank. Well, no, it didn't Oi break this set. Don't, well, it's only it's zero, zero. Mm -hmm. He broke. Yes. Yes. So it's not a break and run, but it's a run. It's a run out from the one. He always pops up slightly on the queue every time. Remember what I was saying about how the top five players generally have the same shot selection? Mm -hmm. His is slightly different. He chooses, chooses to, to punch the ball a lot more. Well, if he keeps punching the way he is, he's going to run out this uh, opening game of the third set and uh, score the win. Yeah, if he wins here, he's going to punch himself into the finals. That too hard. Yeah, not a big fan of. Would use a little bit of right spin to, to check it a little bit and slow down the cue ball. But here we are. I think he's using just. Eh, I might even put left on this and go above the side, just so I have put a good stroke on it. Well, it seems that our stream died on the other match. And uh, people want to be updated on that game, on that uh, match. Hmm. Well, on this match, Dennis Grabe takes game number one in set number three. Tied one set apiece, each player. If you just joined us, now Yuki Oi started things off with two break and runs for a then ended up with a 3-0 lead, then Dennis won two games, and Naoki closed up the set. Set number two started with Dennis winning the first game, and Naoki winning three in a row, but Dennis coming back with three of his own to win set number two. And here we are in set number three. Foul ball in hand. Nayuki is, wait, did he foul? Yeah, yeah, he fouled. Ball in hand. I was just looking for the cue ball. I couldn't find it. I was like, well, it's not in a pocket either. It was in the ref's hand. And he was hiding it. The set between Gorst and Beato are tied one set apiece. Kind of like this one. And now it is five sets. 
So they got a lot more pool to play they still. They got a lot more pool to play. Might as well as your race to 100 next time. Best of five. You know, this is a lot like, uh, I think uh, Eric Horlison said it best. This is very similar to a tennis match where you're playing three out of five sets. Yeah, except they don't grunt every time they hit the ball. There is that. That's why they didn't invite me because I do. You grunt <laughs> when you hit the ball? <laughs> Only you at the world time ball. You must be out of breath at the end. They just don't let me hit the ball. Well, that's one way to keep you from making balls. That's right. Well, we went from about 1,600 viewers to 3,600 viewers. 2,000 viewers in the last five minutes because they cut out the feet on the other one. They must know that we're commentating. Well, that's what they want. They wanted us to get more action over here. Welcome, everyone. Even though we were second option, I totally understand. And I'm well, we're not butthurt at all. Yeah, we are table number two. <laughs> we have the mute button here. It's nice. Yeah, but we're live. The, oh. other, the other table's remote commentators. More than likely, they have a remote commentator. <laughs> Can you spell commentator? I can't. Two M's? Two M's. All right, so stun off the four. Come about in between the ten and the five here. Yeah, just like that. Smooth sailing at the six passes. Oh, you got a little bit of a different angle, though. So you have to draw this. Draw this a touch. Ball first, position second, obviously. Yeah, very cleanly hit there. That was beautiful. And I think he has a little too much angle to stop for the seven in the side, but if he he might just roll this in and play seven in the corner, but I don't think so. I think he's gonna stun or use high right. Go two rails for the seven in the opposite side pocket. Just like that. I would have liked to use that second rail to control the cue ball a little better, but he's okay. He'll play this the seven in the in the side. Then roll it for the eight in the opposite side pocket. Hopefully get a little angle. And honestly, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't mind hitting running into the nine here yeah. and bumping it off the rail just so the, the position on the eight isn't as crucial. It's pretty animated. Oh, you hit that perfect. Nice little stun follow. Wow, beautiful stroke there. A lot of you amateurs out there, that is a very good example of how to use a stun follow. He's hitting hit that with just pretty much dead center English on the cue ball, and it falls forward just a little. Sometimes one or two rotations, a uh, little bit higher, and you get more rotation on it. So it'll travel just a little bit further. And he made quick work of this. Straight, almost straight in on this 10 ball. High percentage shot. Yeah, and the mindset in these longer sets is just you're getting one game closer every time. So that's that's the mindset. And just build that foundation. Tied at one in the third set. Very important set here. You want this... Um, Advantage, one set advantage to get to the, because if you get the next set, you win. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, this time it was me that was Captain Obvious. Remember, make ball, make next ball. That's it. That's all you got to do. I just think don't miss. Same thing. Don't miss, don't, don't hook yourself. That's all it is. Pool's really simple. We just make it hard, you know. Couple of people here saying hello. Uh, NJ Pool player Tyler Lovendahl from Tucson. Now oh, the table one people, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. How they lovely! Came over to How visit. lovely! Welcome <laughs> to the party. <laughs> See, we love you guys here on YouTube. That's 
right. I wonder if he's going to take a little off this one. He might even hit him harder. See, a very high bridge here, which makes the pop a little easier on the cue ball. See how high that cue ball went? That's because his bridge is elevated a little bit, which makes the transition a little easier to get that ball through. One of my favorites in the chat is Pro Level. Yeah. He's always in the uh, YouTube chats. Oh, okay. He's a good guy. The um, This might be one of the only racks that have a, there may be th only a handful of racks so far that have had safeties involved that have been tied to balls. They've all been breaking pretty pretty open. Th this is maybe the third rack that involved a moving battle. Third rack out of about 15. Wow, That's look at this cue look ball. This. If it gets behind the eight ball, Good. what a shot. Wow, amazing shot there? from Grabe there. Oh, yes. This is what you call being in jail. We'll see if uh, the regular handcuffs or fuzzy well, handcuffs uh, soon. See, he's got to beat the four ball. How's he going to beat the four ball coming out in that direction? I don't think he can, to be honest. But let's see how it goes. Lengthen out enough? Not. Oh, he was going three rounds? Yeah. That's about the only thing he could do. He's he should have called a push trapped. before he did that. Can't push. That was the safety. I know, I'm just joking. I know, okay. I missed it. Went over my head again. No, no, no. I'll make sure that, you know, that it's funny next time. <laughs> well, they've got the stream going again on table one, so. If uh, people are confused about my joke, you can only push after the first inning. After the first, after the in break. In the first, right after the break, the first shot after the break, and that is the only time you could push. And what do you do with the, you put, you can break out the, the five nine with the four. You get enough angle about in between the nine and the four. He Maybe could, even between the seven and the four. He could have risked breaking it right here off the two, but he can't now, he doesn't have the angle. Eh, you don't want to do that because of the seven ball. <coughs> the seven plays big if you run into those balls. Speed overcomes. Yeah, if you hit it 13 million miles an hour, I don't think the seven would be a problem. Coming across for the four ball. Oh, wow. He might have went a little too far. No, not far enough. Got straight uh, in. If he could have gone just a little further, he'd have a great angle to break out the five. Yeah. Or even instead, a little more or a little less. How do you prefer to play safe here? Cut it on the left side or kick and stick it? On the five. Yep. Because mm. that's going to be your choice. It looks like he's trying to break it, but no. I that's don't his choice now. You don't like go kicking off the left. at this. He can't kick at it from there. He would have had to stay up where the four ball was. I don't really agree no. with his decision on this one. To I, go. I don't like where he got. I think he was trying to get better on it. Yeah, he that's one of those shots for where you over hit it and just make sure you get there. Yeah, I mean, that might work for now as a containing shot, but I'm not sure. Not sure. I kind, I kind of like the the seven ball here, with the with the carom. A little bit of speed, so he can come straight across. Make sure he gets it. The five ball will go one rail, and probably set up for the cue ball. Over hit it. He paid more attention to the speed than he did to the angle of the cue ball coming off. So they have three balls that are basically in the pocket, and I don't think that he has a shot. Uh, yes, he does. I'm going to go ahead and draw the cue ball right into the six because uh, I believe the five ball will probably hit the ten. He's actually banking the five. I'd rather play the six here. 
Yeah, I'd probably play the five here just because this you're not you get, it's hard to control the five with the carom. He's played safe. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> shot. Really good shot. And a great safety at that. Much better than playing the six or the five. Yeah, I think he's gonna call the six ball. Yeah, six ball. He's gonna jump over the five and bank it into the six. That's what his goal is. A lot of the players like to hit this two rails. He's is he jumping? Okay. I'm jumping, trying to make the six here. Let's see how it ends up. He could get lucky here. Uh, it's a little short. Did he get him with a 10? The answer is no. Uh, the seven ball is hanging, so just spin this in. The cue ball should go into the nine. And just don't get hooked by the 10. Yeah, there's really only a few plays you can be where you can't make the six. Well, to tell you the truth, I actually didn't see the six hanging in the pocket. I thought the seven ball was next. That should give everyone a little laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and look what I said for the seven. Oh to make wow. sure you don't get hooked behind the ten, he could have been hooked. And he's a little bit hooked behind the six. Well, for the six. maybe he thought the seven was next like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Always possibility. And I can see by the way he's aiming, he's uh, aiming to hit the ball and the ball and the rail at the same time. Watch out for the nine. And it'll get around. He's got good speed. And he's just turned this into a win. Well, you, you, might that, you think he's going to play the seven on the side? Strong possibilities. Okay. Eight in the left corner. That's safety. Play eight safe on the eight, probably, huh? Yeah, good stroke there. Yeah, I like going two rails in between the 9-10. I don't like checking this with left because it's hard to control the speed. Well, Dennis is using the 11-8 Revo, so that tells me he likes to spin the ball. Yeah, and he got a little far away on this. I don't, not my preference on position here. Yeah, for many of you that just joined us, the referee you just saw is Quintaras. He's from Lithuania. And they have nicknamed him Genie. That's not Genie Pool, is it? No? On YouTube? No. Okay. Have you ever seen the guy? So I'm just curious. No, I'm not. I haven't. Uh, I don't know who Genie Pool is. That's why I said no. Oh, okay. Find this 10 in this lower left hand pocket. Straight in. And game number three gives Dennis Grabe a two to one lead in the third set. The second set was a barn burner. Dennis wins the first game and Nayuki Oi takes three games in a row and then gives him an opportunity, and Dennis gets three games back to win the set. Otherwise, Nayuki would be at two sets to zero. Both players playing at a high level. A couple of errors here and there. Let's take a look at the stats. And when I say something like that, I got to have stats to back it up. Otherwise, um, that way I can just say just the facts, Jack. Rack him, Joe. My fingers so. <laughs> okay. Time at the table for the entire match so far. That was the same stat I read a little while ago. 60% for Nayuki Oi, 40% for Dennis, but the, uh, pretty much a uh, even score. Overall performance by the players. Grabe at 815, Oi at 832. But again, the lower stat with Grabe leading by a game. Break success, both players are at 50% for the match. Uh, there's only been one foul on the break by Mr. Grabe. Fouls overall, four apiece. Missed shots, three apiece. How tight can you get this game? 
Balls pocketed, Dennis with 67, and Oi with 95. So now Yuki Oi has run more ball, has pocketed more balls, but trails by a game in the third set. Well, this is the APA, he'd be winning. Good point for a lot of the APA players out there. Safety efficiencies, 72% by Gravis, 61 to Oi. And this is why we're at a tight match here. Keep in mind, the winner of this match goes on to meet the winner of Federgorst and Carlo Viado in the finals, which will be played here at 2.30 Pacific time. Yeah, he put himself in a very, very weird position here. Only one rail. Good, good kick. See if the seven comes and wraps it up? No. So the five, six, still a problem. I want to see, now Yuki is aggressive. Two times now in this match, he's gone after a ball like this 5-6 to open it up. I think here he has to. So where do you want to be on the four to go for this 5-6? Uh, or do you risk playing the four off the five into that corner? Uh, the four goes a little low of the pocket off the five from that angle because okay. it's pretty steep. And it's kind of flat. Um, I think he might. Oh no! Don't do. He might go off the six five though, or he might be playing the six five combo. I there's it's there's a few different things he could do here. I think he's playing the. I don't know. I just think it goes low off the five, but I could be wrong. How you uh, a soda if you. Gets us off the five. Yeah. He I tried it. I hit the five on the wrong side. And lost the cue ball. Well, he stayed down really well on that shot. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a plus to every minus, right? But I feel like he jumped out of his shoes on that one, didn't stay down. and Yeah, he uh, he didn't shoot that with uh, a lot of confidence. Let's put it that way. Now both these players have their own style of playing for sure. Not necessarily textbook mechanics, but they get it done. And I'm going to see all the kids learn how to play pool, chalking like that from now on. I think it's very interesting, the way he chalks. Dennis? Yeah, look at that. It's different, a little bit. I just never thought to incorporate those last two fingers like that. Well, you know, when you chalk, you have to reach up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always got to reach above my head. <laughs> <laughs> or just got to put the cue way over on the other side of the table. I don't mind going on the side here. I really don't. But you have to be careful here going too far. Someone makes a very good point. There are a lot of people from Estonia watching this match, and Dennis Grabe, one of their heroes. Yeah, of course. What other top players are from Estonia? I can't think of any. Yeah. So this is their chance for a World Ten Ball Championship, and, and a very, very strong chance too. What a great finish for Dennis if he's able to get this championship. He's a great guy, uh, you know, deserving. Has the, all the talent in the world. He just hasn't crossed that um, whatever it takes to win these le tournaments. But he's finished high here, fifth in uh, 2021. Yeah, this might be his breakout tournament. You never know. This might be his cross 800 Fargo tournament. Yeah. In 2022, he was ninth here at the world, ninth through 16th in the world 10 ball. So he got to the final 16. No, it was in 2023 he was fifth at the World 
10 ball. He was fifth in the Michigan Open. He was 17th through 32nd in the Alpha Las Vegas Open. Good finish in Arizona in 2022, third in Ohio, and ninth in the World 10 ball. So he's been knocking on the door. And let's see if he can get this one to open. Dennis to break this time from the side rail. Look at that cue ball. He got it to jump up so high there. The pop was really good. Did he make a ball? Uh, that he made a yes. ball and the spinning four ball blocked his opening shot on the one. So what's your play here? Punt, pass, or kick. I'm going to go ahead and play behind the two ball for a jump shot. Two ball for a jump shot. I like kicking on the right side of the one and trying to put the one near the eight and the cue ball behind the four. I think that's what he's looking at. There he goes again, chalking. Your guy in the stands woke up. Yeah, it's about the seventh inning stretch, so. Yeah, I oh. think he left it here, but. If he doesn't hit the eight ball, he hits a very, very nice shot. It's still a tough shot, especially for position on the two. He can come straight across for the two in the corner if it goes by the six, but otherwise, it's tough. Yeah, a little unfortunate for sure, but um, still left a long shot. So Naoki's going to have to come and really deliver here. Oh, my goodness. How did he hit that ball? Does a two go past the six? I believe so. Fall for the three, five combo, or the three in the lower left-hand corner? Never know. Never know with him. Well, he's left the rail first shot here. Yep. Yeah, I might be jumping here, just because if you're using the the low, I uh, know you gotta, you have to kick at this. I think. You wouldn't go rail there first. Go. No, yeah, you have to kick at this. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go rail first with smooth uh, and try to land the cue ball right by the four and bank the three in the side or play the three five combo. I don't think they sell that extension to the public. <laughs> it's a lot of extension. Well, you know, there's a lot of custom cue manufacturers. And he could reach anything on a snooker table. The Mac Daddy of extensions there. It takes up the whole seat. <laughs> Uh, this combo is kind of weird, laying kind of weird. If you make it, the three could freeze on the rail. I think I would bank the ball before I would shoot the combo. Yeah, I wouldn't mind the bank. He doesn't either, but he drew it a little too far. He might just be trying to bank out here. I don't, th you think he'll bank this? No, I no, think no. he cuts it, yes, and he goes straight across with the cue ball. Well, he definitely has angle to go there, that's for sure. I actually like this shot. I like him shooting it, too. Nothing to do with the cue ball. Just said it was center English. Maybe it's a hint of inside. Yeah, a little bit of high left. Oh, he, he's Missed going. Ball. He was already in his seat by the time he got through the ball there. When he hit it, yeah. Yeah. And it's funny how you, you know as soon as you hit the ball. Yeah, yeah. Naoki with a good chance to go draw within one in this race to four. I mean, you think about it, this was, that was Dennis's chance to win the set. I thought he would have at least called an extension, regrouped yeah. himself, and really took some time on that. I think those are the little things that the top, 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 top players do that really solidify themselves as that, you know, just, just controlling the match whenever they can. Yeah, if he would have made that four ball, he, he, he wins the set. 
I liked him shooting the shot. I liked the shot. Uh, like the shot he took, the way he played it. Yeah, I think he just rushed it. He just, uh, uh, he just got away from him a little bit. A little thin on this. A little bit of low right English. Oh yeah, there. A low left draw. How about that? Yeah, yeah. Closes just like I, just like I said. Just like you said. He closes the gap two games to three in the in the. In the 300th set. <laughs> in the third set. They are tied in sets right now. One to one in sets. Niyuki has a new look on life after that missed four from Grabe. Is our set score wrong? No, it should be 1-1 one, one in sets. Mm -hmm. Right? Nayuki to break. He's going to pummel these. Two ball goes straight in the side pocket. I think, yeah, he might play two-way here. If he doesn't like the safe behind the eight from the one, then he could play the bank, play the bank, and then go towards the 10-3 with the cue ball. He just called the bank shot in the corner where he's at, the one ball. And he figures that he might as well go aggressive. He got a new lease on life. Last rack. And I think he kind of wants to, you know, twist the knife on his opponent a little bit here. Kind of like go for the run? Yeah, I mean, you better go aggressive, right? Because you figure you're going to lose that set, right? You might as well give yourself a chance to win. I liked him going for that bang. It laid nice. That bang shot laid nice. This three, this, well, Ooh. he's going to play safe. I was going to say this, uh, Three to the four lays nice too, but he just took the safer route. Something good can happen on this kick shot. I don't think he can come back and make uh, the six off the seven when he hits the three. Depends he how he hits the three and depends how he's shooting it. Yeah, a lot of people hit this ball soft, but I think you got to hit it with some speed. No, oh, he's going to kick it one rail, not two rails. I thought he was going to kick two rails at the three. Power him, I get that. Extension out. Put it on his cue. Make it a 90 inch cue. And hit this three, <laughs> hit this three with all his might. Yeah, good speed there. Just caught it too thin. We might have another hill hill set, George. That would be two in a row. The first one went four to two. Overall score, individual games, is only difference by one if Nayuki makes this out. It's tied right now at nine nine total games but it doesn't really matter. It's just by the set. But it's close, really close. Yeah, and the, and the stats the stats gave us that indicated that too when, when I ran the stats a little bit ago. Middle table with the seven, from the seven to the eight. So he has an option to go for the nine on the side or for the corner. Beautiful stroke, beautiful shot. I like going on the side here, personally. But if he uses low right drag, I wouldn't be mad at this either. And just like that. 
little bit of high right English. Play a 10 in the, op in the opposite side. Oh, well, you might come out all the way. Yeah, there you go. Let it stroke out a little bit. Oh, here he goes. And this 10 ball for a thriller in Manila. Hill Hill in the third set. Who's going to take the lead? This break will tell the story. I felt like, who was the guy? And now the rest of the story. Mm. Who was that dude? It's poetic there, George. Wait, what was the question? Yeah, that was, uh, it was one of the uh, TV anchors. And now for the rest of the story. Oh, I don't know. I don't watch TV. No, oh, that's the news, I think so. It was probably about 20 years ago, so <laughs> you probably <laughs> weren't there. You were six years old. The good old days. I was young then, so they weren't old to me. Yeah, I guess. Those were the days. And the days go by. Dun, 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 dun. There was a lot of the, even Kopenyi, Naoki Oi, they have crazy hair, but they don't, like, they just, they, they let the alfalfa thing just go. They use gel everywhere else, but they leave that, it's maybe it's a style, I gotta start doing that. Maybe it's the gel that keeps the hair up. Oh, look at you thinking outside the box. There you go. I like it. You know, uh, I'm at the age now where you admire the hair. <laughs> You all. Oh, he's almost, almost in, in a hairy situation there. A and still hairy. Look at this. Mm. Two balls threatened both side pockets, the three and the eight. Neither one went in. He's left a long shot on the one. Close to the pocket. Is he going to kick at it? And there's no path. Hill, Hill, this is how, how it always has to go. Uh, it, it is funny how things just really tighten up when, when it gets tight. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> Uh, that's very true. <laughs> you know, when the, when the score is like this at Hill Hill, you think one player would get an advantage and just break them wide open, perfect break, make one and run out. But no, you get wrecks like this. Look how symmetrical this looks. Three balls on one side, three balls on the other, all almost in the same place. He's left himself a short jump uh, and a cut shot. Oi will be more than happy to... He might be able to kick at this behind a three. I like the kick opposed to the jump. It's sure. easy to miss the whole sure. ball or hit it too thick. It all depends how natural you can play behind a three ball there. If you can play natural, I'm going to take the kick shot. But the kick shot doesn't afford you shape. you got to hit it just, just right. Yeah, not I'd follow it in, <coughs> and you might not have shape. Yeah, I'd give it back. Especially, you know. Well, the only reason I would consider not giving this back is that he put me there to begin with, so he thinks he can make it. Yeah, I'm gonna let him do this. Yeah, he's a tall guy. He can jump. He, you know, he can address the address the ball better than than a, a vertically challenged. Although Oi is not, I think he's close to six foot. Yeah, if I had his height, I'd be catching rebounds somewhere. He wouldn't be using the bridge as much either, or the extension. I wouldn't be playing pool. <laughs> well, I'd, I'll say one thing for the pro players. Things are starting to get to where this is a good place to be. You have Predator putting on some great events. Uh, the money's getting up there. Uh, we had players, several players, in the vicinity of $200,000 or more uh, for 2023. I know it's all looking up. It's all Predator's looking up. Predator's a good spot yeah. for the sport, for sure. There's other, you know, the, the pool's growing. Well, when you said that he had confidence to make it, he definitely did. Sure, and that's why I wouldn't have given it back. I'd find something else to do. 
Yeah, but if I don't think I can make it, I'm definitely going to give it, it back. It back yeah. yeah. Yeah, if my plan isn't, uh, if I can't formulate a plan, I'm giving it back. Because that means that my opponent may not be able to formulate a plan. If my only reason to shoot is so he doesn't, not a great plan. Not a great <laughs> plan. Look at this. Good shot. Another good shot by Mr. Grabe. And as it should be in a hill hill game. Both players coming with the shots. The innings are getting high. The chances are getting low. Off the 10. Yeah, sometimes your jump bank combos are off and that's understandable. Big shot for Dennis right here. It's yeah. a stop shot. Can you stop it and hold and, and not, not sure. get behind the seven? I'm not sure if he can hold this, yeah. but if he hits it straight on a little bit of low left, he might be able to turn it in and hold. You know what another, another option might have? If he's got that little angle, let's go ahead and, and follow it and run into the 10 right there and stay there for the three. Like that. Yeah, good call. Good call. Now he's got a nice angle to come out for the four, and pretty much. He's looking at the four combo. At the yeah, I'm not a big combo. fan of this. I don't like that. Trying to get straight in on the four in the top left corner here off the three. Well, the seven ball is laying kind of handy to it, so you can kind of place the cue ball anywhere he wants. I might place the, the cue. Uh -huh. Oh, he missed this ball. He decelerated and popped up on that ball. But I was going to say, I might uh, play the cue ball on the same side it is now and play the eight ball in the corner. But you can play it in the side. He's got angle to play it in the side. Uh, don't understand you know, that one. That was, he wasn't, like, he just kind of rushed it. That wasn't like a, like a confident stroke at well, all. You know what I think may have happened there, and I know I know it's happened to me on several occasions, is you kind of have a narrow focus there. He didn't see the big picture. I think he wasn't exactly sure where he was going to get, so he right. kind of missed, you know, took his eye off it. Well, and there he is. No real, no real aggressive shot. Can't play it off the seven. Can he... Oh, this is a tough shot. Yeah, that's just a bad situation. Three ball or seven ball? Well, he called something in the corner pocket, but I thought uh, Hintara said three. I think he was rushed. Yeah. Well, he's left a <laughs> testy shot here. I don't, risky shot, too. That's side pocket, even though the eight's in front of it. Yeah, you just, whatever stroke you can do, which is your confidence stroke, to make this ball is what you need to shoot it with. See a lot of overcuts from here, and that one undercut, wow. This has been a little bit of a uh, errorful game so far. Errors by both players. Yeah, for sure. And this to go up two to one in sets. I mean, this is a very, very big game. And I, I feel like, I feel like they've, they're just giving it back and forth to each other on yeah. this one. Well, sometimes that forces the air, the pressure of the hill, hill, knowing how important this this set is. Yeah, I'm gonna grow my hair out, like him, and I'm gonna get that handlebar beard. It's gonna be good. You'll rock it. Not as cool as him, but it'll be close. Yeah, six ball would be okay in the side, would be okay in the corner. I'm not, a, not opposed to just shooting this one in the corner. I'm touch the eight with the Q. All ball fouls here. Oh, he's playing the six in the same same pocket. This is a little bit of a tough shot, a little yeah. bit of a tester. What I would recommend to him is just stay down on this ball. If you miss it, you miss it, but give yourself the best chance to make it. 
I wouldn't dream of making a recommendation. At a 650-ish Fargo, I'll let him do the shooting. I'll do the talking. Oh, oh wow. Now he's got to he's now he's got to work to get on the eight. If he could get right where the cue ball is now, it wouldn't be too bad. It's like it's the Harlem Globetrotters or yeah. something. The shots they're shooting. Yeah, he, um, he's going to have to work a little bit. He's going to have to risk a little to get good position on his eight, or take the bank. Yeah. Hill Hill never gets more exciting, doesn't it? Um, he spends so much time thinking about the shot. He's going after the eight right here. But he spends so much time thinking about the oh, shot. Oh, 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 oh. He's already at the buzzer by the time right. he gets down. Do you, you bank this or do you cut it? Oh, definitely cut. Okay. The only reason I even consider the bank is look at the line the cue ball's on. Yeah, you got to cut it, though. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. But if you left me this shot playing one pocket, I'm going to say thank you. Well, you can have three rail eight. <laughs> Straight rail it. Straight rail. I'm talking about the, the other corner. Not that it's up there. Oh, wow. Nice shot by Dennis. He needs one more good shot here. Yep. Then he's out of this set, and I think he'll, his nerves will settle down quite a bit. I think I take my extension and just breathe. The one on the chair? No, 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 the one on the clock. No, oh, okay. It's hard to bring that thing anywhere. And that should close out set number three and take a two to one lead. Wow, this set has been wild, but this rack has been that game, the most that one wild game, yeah. sure. It, uh, it had its uh, pitfalls. And he closes it out, gets the set, goes ahead two sets to one in a race to, to three sets. Three out of five, but keep in mind, if the Fifth and deciding set, if it gets there, goes to Hill Hill, it will go to a shootout. We might see that with what we've seen so far. We'll be right back.
And the players are back in the arena, preparing themselves to move on to the next set. Dennis leads two sets to one in a race of three sets, or three out of five, to break the balls. He's been smacking the balls good. His break success is at 63% for the match so far. He was at 100% in the first, 50 and then 67, so he's a pretty good percentage. 50 for Oi, as far as break success. And just as we, we talk about his success on the break, he breaks him dry, but plays the safety. No yeah. open shot. I'm interested because they had so much success from the middle of the table that I'm really curious why they keep trying to break from the side. Hmm. And that's a good point, Chris, because uh, to start things off in this set, now Yuki Oi started with a break and run, two break and runs in a row. So changing from that... Um, Can you spin this in? ...is kind of... Um, he tried, failed, left a good shot on the one, the two balls readily available, three ball up on top, easy to run to. He's got the looks of a good uh, run here. Yeah, it's going to be touchy, though, because you go to the left side of the pocket, you might hit that point and go behind the 5-7, so you've got to be careful. Yeah, he's got, he's got to get on this two ball good. I agree. And that's that could be the whole key. And the five ball still... Um, tough to get on. It's a small area between the 10 and the 8 to get on the 5. And so he's got a little to go here. He's got some work to do. He'll be drawing the ball up past the 4. Not at all where I thought he would go with that. I thought he'd go up the rail past the 4. Um, he's in a little bit of a tough angle. And Even that's that's what I was saying yeah. previously about shot selection, where I feel like he's shooting just he's trying to make it a little harder on himself than he needs to. Maybe it's he doesn't trust a certain shot, or I don't know, but I feel well like he forces a lot of things instead well of. He forced great shape on that three ball right here. Yeah, yeah, I get it. When it works, it works is what sure. I'm saying. But you know, as far as consistency and longevity wise, it's tough to continue doing this this route oh he's yes been doing. totally agree the one thing i'll say about the way he shot those last three shots is it wears on you to have to come with those kind of shots it wears you down faster than staying in line all the time yeah we saw in that last Mentally. set hill hill where he got out of line a few times and had to try to come with a shot and then missed but again not a knock on his game just an observation oh i can't knock his game the guy's at a 797 fargo uh, one of the oh. the best guys on the tour. Yeah, I mean, so he just plays these position zones that you need to get absolutely perfect in order to make it work. And then it just it's like a snowball effect where it just gets a little worse and a little worse, and then he's here on the five. Well, like right there, he purposely bumped the seven ball instead of going by it with a little bit of left English and coming up almost to the side pocket with the cue ball. He had a lot of angle on that one for sure. He had to use the seven, I think. Okay. Just come out here a little further. He did punch Man. that one. That was a big punch there. Yeah. Body English yeah. galore here. He's played a lot of pool in the past 11 days. But you know what? If he does it every shot, it's not really it's just something he does. It's the way he does it. And it works for him. Most important part about pool. Do what you do, but better. <laughs> what? It's a rule of everything. Do what you do, but better. Do it your way. All right, low left. Come down to like a diamond below the side, maybe the second diamond. But put emphasis on the make here. You're going to be okay on the 10 ball.
And what a way to open up set number four. So 10 ball in the lower left hand pocket here. I'm just going to use a little bit of high left, maybe in between 11 and 12 o'clock. And just like that, 1-0 advantage for Dennis Grabe. He can close out the match here. Getting that all-important third set. If he can get to four games before, boy, he gets the three. Because if they both get to three, it's called... It's not a shootout. It'll be two to two. That's right. I did the math. Nice. Fans filling in the seats. Looking to catch the last part of this match. Which leads me to believe the other match is Our other semifinal match is Gorse versus Beato on table one. And they are at the same juncture, two to one. Beato leads in sets and leads 2-0 in the third set, in the fourth set. So both tables are one game apart. Right from the side rail again. I don't know why they keep doing this, but they do. Well, well now that time was successful. I guess so. Two balls on the break. Mm. Uh, do you play safe here, or do you go for this uh, two ball in the left-hand corner pocket? Now in the upper corner yeah, pocket. Yeah, I play safe behind the 10 here. Use the 9, 8, 3 as blockers, probably. Okay, if you cut this shot, you're probably going to run into the 10. He's afraid of it. That's exactly what he just pointed out, was to uh, play safe behind the 10. I asked him before the match to please indicate uh, some of these safeties so I would be able to commentate them correctly. He loves that body English. Yeah, a little too much left there. It's I fine, though. I'll take that any day of the week, twice on Sundays. One rail kick, possibly two. If you catch us, you know, to the left of the two ball. Oh. Is he going to get there? No, it's a foul. Well, our match on table number one, Beato leads two sets to one and is up three games to zero in the fourth set. Mm. He's a game away from closing out Feder Gorst. So here's an idea. Off the right side of the two, yeah, do we need a rail there? Not yet. It's not a rail. No rail. <sighs> yeah, and the ref didn't even really see it. Grabe was kind enough to point know, it out. Had the integrity of saying, yeah. you know, I didn't. That was a foul. Yeah. Well, you caught it here. Yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't have said anything. Well, we can't. <laughs> We're just commentators. We're not. Uh, as there's a referee out there that makes all the calls. Big interest here on what's going on on table one. Could be. Uh, they will tell us who the winner of this match will play. Whether it be Gorst or Beato. And is it possible we have a. Filipino winner of the Las Vegas Open and a Filipino Filipino <laughs> winner of the Predator World Ten Ball. 
The coveted title is the 10 ball, the world 10 ball. Money's not bad either, huh? I could make you laugh harder with what's going through my mind. Will he come down for the side pocket or go ahead and play the eight ball in the corner? Play position for the eight ball in the corner. Nope, down for the side. Nine ball goes by the 10. So it'll be a stop shot to get it for the nine, then the 10. Tie things up in the fourth set. Taking what the table gives them here. Stop shot to the nine. Stun over for the ten and voila. Et voila. Tied at one. He's like the Tasmanian devil running around the table, causing havoc. a very close match. It's 11-11 after, after three sets and a few games of the fourth set. Number of games. Wow, it's 11-11 tied exactly. This match? You know, promised to be a close one, and as you can see by the set scores, four to two uh, by Naoyuki on the opening set, four to three, and four to three, two sets in a row by Grave, and tied at one. Break it from the middle here, a little in between the first diamond and the middle diamond. Three Seven ball might spin in. Seven. Not sure he can spin this one ball in though. We'll see if oh yeah, he can make it. That's a tough one ball. I'm yeah, playing safe. Position on the two is definitely not guaranteed. I want to and play making safe. the one is definitely not guaranteed. He's probably gonna bank this one ball behind the six nine and leave the cue ball there. Yeah, I think he has to go for it though, the way it's laying. No early tens, so if the 10 ball goes in, it won't count. It just spots up. He will continue to shoot. I actually wouldn't be surprised, or I would actually not. I wouldn't mind shooting off the left side of the one or the right side where we look with left English and come behind that wall of balls and leave the one ball down on this end of the table. Beautiful shot. He was able to pocket the ball. Didn't want to go that far, though. I think he's going to put him behind the eight here. I don't see him going for the combo. So if you have to be careful of where that two ball lands, I like putting it right behind the six nine. There you go, just like that. So it makes it a little harder to hit and harder for him, for Dennis, to get separation once he hits it. And the two rail is pretty blocked by the 10, so this is a very, very high level save. Then it's here to yeah. chew bubble gum and try to beat Nuke Yoi, and he's all out of bubble gum. I got some in my pack here. Let me give him a piece later. Tough shot. Hampered by the 10 to hit this ball. He's going to try to sneak right by it. Took the long route and used the third rail. Good shot. Very good shot here.
going for it or playing safe here? Playing safe. Maybe he was just banking the ball. Wow. Does this cut, Chris? It looks like it may cut in. Yeah, if you move the cue ball really to the thin. left about a foot. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he banks this ball. The safe is tough. But yeah, it might be able to cut, like you're saying. Just playing safe behind the nine. It's ah, gonna that's leak. a very risky safe. I it's think he was trying to cut that ball in. I think he maybe missed cue to touch. Serious. Really? Yeah. Doctor's <laughs> Doctor Q's wife in attendance. Miss Q. Beautiful was that shot. I think he's gonna stun above the five. Play the fi play the yeah play the five in the lower left hand pocket as we see. Beautiful stroke, confident. Draw back a bit for the six. Don't want to get straight, but you also don't want to be on the rail. So pick your poison. Yeah, just try to get it off the rail there and stay in the area. Come back a little. Yeah, to the pocket a little bit. He's in good shape. Yeah, he does a lot of running. Did he go far enough, or is he going to have to go around the angles? Let's see. I think oh, he's okay. Oh, he's starting to look like the player that started this match with two breaking runs. So. I think he's okay. He's okay. I think he's okay on this one. Look at his stride, like a gazelle in the wild. He's amped up. He needs to get moving and tie this up. Two games apiece, two sets apiece, I mean. Striding through this set. That rack was beautiful. Two games to one in set number four. He looks ready. He looks ready to take on this next rack. He will do so with a break from the little slightly to the right of center. How hard do you think he's going to hit these? Uh, rather hard. This is where he started out breaking. There goes the one ball. Uh, like the Hulk said. It's clobbering time. Well, you told him to break from the middle, and he does, and look what he's got. A great spread, great opening shot. Um, it's laid out for a, for, for a break and run. Now it's just a matter of connecting the dots and going from the three to the four. But he better go from the two to the three successfully. Yeah, the three to the four is definitely the key shot here, the toughest one. In between the eight nine, yeah, or can he drag? Here. He might be able to drag draw this, but in between the six four, he's he's going between the eight nine with the cue ball to get to the middle diamond on the rail where he's at. Yeah, his stroke is more conducive for this particular shot selection. Pinpoint. I'd go above the five here. Oh, uh, the five is in the pocket, I believe. Oh, then is he playing shape on the six next? I thought he was going to play. Thank you. It's okay. He's just going for up for the six. He got straight on this one, a little straight. Is he going to punch it over or draw back? He'll stun it over. Could draw it back. Going to slap this one in the corner. <laughs> 
Beautiful. Seven in the corner, pop out for the eight. Got a little weird on this, but I think he can stun. But if not, he'll just stop it there. I think he's stunning off the rail and out. Just like so. The Naoki Oi train is in full force. Oi looking good for a break and run. He started out with two, finally got his third. Some scrappy play throughout the match here and there. And then some very great play like that break right there that we just saw. Both players coming with some great shots. And they're giving us a treat for our money here. For all the views that uh, had a pay-per-view that had to pay for this, you know. We're sorry. But we're glad you're getting it free. <laughs> Great break and run by Oi for a three to one lead in the fourth set to tie things up at two and go into the third, uh, fifth and deciding set. Quintadas from Louisiana is your referee. Big break from Oi. Same spot he broke for the first game. Made two balls. Eight balls straight to the pocket. One ball track him for the corner. Two ball goes four rails wow. into the pocket. What an opening. Look at this. Look at him just smack him. That was. This is a road map. Again, just a matter of uh, staying in line. <laughs> Three to the four is the key here. Little stun out to the middle of the table here. He might go low right. Interested to see. Yeah, there you go. Let out your stroke a bit more and get closer to the ball without accidentally stunning too far. Better angle, maybe. They just come up on a straight line here. A little bit of left. And he got straight. That's what he wanted. He might have a touch of angle to go forward, but he wants to get about where he is now for the six to stop it for the seven and then go over for the nine. Pretty close to where he was, George. It's looking good here for two breaking runs in a row. Close out the, he closes out set number four. Force the deciding set. He got he, a little straight, George. Yeah, the nine ball is as tough as you want to get. He's got to lay this ball on the rail. Can he stun over or go back? Wow, he's left himself a tough shot. He's left himself a very tough shot here. Cut down the rail. Are you stunned? <laughs> stunned, yeah. I'm stunned he didn't get over there. I uh, I thought he might power draw to the head rail and come down for the nine, trying to lay it on the, on the rail. But this is... Uh, would you even consider banking this across? Not with the way I bank, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have hit it that way, though, with that English. If I'm hitting it with that English, I'm going back and forth. I, yeah, I wouldn't hit it with speed, too. I'm I not, totally agree. I would never shoot that shot with that speed. If I'm hitting it with high left, I could hit it a little slower and get away with it. But I'm not trusting that it's not going to throw out of the pocket like it just did. Well, this is reminiscent of set number two, um, where Dennis put three games in a row to win the set. If he does it here in this set, he wins the match. Yeah, there's another lifeline for Dennis. Ooh. 
you want to get it out of the way as quick as you can. You don't want to leave a chance for your opponent to beat you, obviously. Yeah, he just looks a little uncomfortable with the shot. Drains it. And you can tell. Playing a little nervous on certain yeah. shots, but it's okay. They're both nervous. I can. It's everyone. Everyone is, even in the building. I'm not. You're not nervous here. No. Next to me. Not nervous at all. That's good. I get more nervous for people than I do for myself. I get more nervous. I was really nervous watching Christina Takach play. So I, w I wanted her to win. That would have been a great win for her. Yeah, but Cho has been playing amazing this whole trip. It's, it's so amazing. hard to overcome. She's playing so well. And I can see that she at the beginning of the tournament, she made some adjustments towards the end and was looking much stronger um, with that carbon fiber shaft that she's been using for about a month. Yeah, use the shaft for a month when a lot of money with it. Money well spent, even though I sure she didn't pay for it. See if she he, yeah, off on the cue, yeah. Nine ball. The Yuki with a chance. That's the first scratch on the break I think I've seen. And I'll see if I can verify that on our they stats from the stat guys. They both have scratched on the break, I believe. Yeah, the four ball is going to be weird here. He got a little too far on this, but I think he's okay. Yeah, he wanted to get straight on this. We so could draw straight. He could fall straight in for the three and draw for the four. He might have to be stunning this to try to get a better angle. But again, you don't want to be doing all that. And that is confirmed by the stack guys. This is the second time Dennis scratches on the break in the match. Once in the third set and now once in this fourth. There's one of those drag draw shots I was talking to you about. I hit it a little thicker with the low left, and it's going to take more towards the side pocket instead of out. He puts on his three-foot extension so he can reach the shot. Oh, he's going high right. That's a taller order, in my opinion. More comfortable with that, maybe? Going around the horn. Went too far. Yeah, I wonder if this four goes on the side. If it goes on the side, I wouldn't be opposed to shooting it in the side. It appears to. Can I get a four ball on the side? All right. A good shot there. Probably going to play the five in the same side pocket. A little steep on the angle, though. I don't know if I like forcing this in. Just a good stroke and through the ball. A little bit of right English. Oh, he's playing with a sense of urgency. Looking to wrap up this set. Tie things up at two. And force that deciding set. He gave Dennis a big opportunity there. And uh, Dennis didn't cash in. I just stop it right there. Yeah, a little closer is good, but I don't mind stopping it right there like you said either. Wow, 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 wow. Five, set number five. Set number five coming right up. Players will go to a break, I see. 
And um, we'll go over some stats for you real quick. Time at the table for the match. 45% for Dennis Grave, 55 for Nayuki Oi. And let's see if this goes along with the balls pocketed. And it does, 161 balls for Oi and 104 balls for Grabe. Accounts for the 10% more time. Safety returns are pretty even, 10 to 11 in favor of Grabe. Fouls on break, two by Dennis. And overall player performance for the match so far, tied at two sets apiece, 791 for Dennis Grabe and 842 for Nayuki Oi. Now Yuki Oi with four breaking runs in the set, and I think Dennis just has one. Interesting enough, Dennis lost the first set, four to two. Won the next two, four to three, four to three, and then lost this one, four to two. If things go as we see, we're gonna have a shootout. In the same pattern, we'll have a shootout. I'll be right back, I'll get something to drink and be right back with you folks. And Dennis is entering the arena. Oi waiting for him patiently, having a little bit of smart water. He will come to break the fifth and deciding set. Breaking from the middle, six ball. Shot on the one, negative. 
Safety behind the seven, more than likely. No, I'll go for the one ball here. Oh, I thought the three ball was in the way. Sorry. It must have bounced off the rail when I first saw it. I just bounced off the rail. <laughs> now I'm ready. You know, there's a book written by a good friend, Alfie Taylor. It's called Off the Rail. Yeah, it's I read that. book. Yeah. Is that with um, Bucktooth is in that, right? Uh, just about everybody. Alfie Taylor, uh, I remember him way back in the late 70s, actually. I used to, you know, play pool back then. Oh, yeah, back when I was a kid. Yeah, back when you were a kid. Were you even born in the late 70s? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Yeah, making quick work of this rack, for sure. Draw back a little bit. Try to get where the cue ball is now, George. That would be a good place for the five, maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, he likes going the extra rail to let his stroke out. I totally nice. agree with him on that. That's, you know, if you can and you trust it, that's definitely the move. Yeah, the problem, though, is when you clock it, you'll have a tendency of traveling it too far with a little bit of draw. Sometimes the rails get a little bouncy, especially like on a bar box. They can bounce off a little bit and you've, the less movement, the better for me, especially in traffic and for most. Boy, making quick work here. Yeah. He's not messing around, dude. He just really, he, uh, he wants this tile and all of a sudden it looks like he saw the light and he's running, rushing towards it. Yeah, he's definitely putting a pace on this match. Yeah. And on top of that, it's got to be a little intimidating to the opponent if the guy's running around the table like this and getting good layouts. Well, Dennis is thinking, all right, what do I do and how do I do it? First of all, i got to get to the table. And he's not getting to the table this rack. He's drinking plenty of fluids. He's got three different drinks there. So he'll be ready. And it opening time to go. Opening the fifth set with a break and run is Naoyuki Oi, five times the best player in Japan. 2021 was his, was his biggest year of earnings according to the AZB money list. Just under sixty thousand. Just under sixty thousand dollars. He is the 17th highest ranked Fargo rated player in the world. Yeah, it's gone up a lot. Uh, I feel like 17. in the past past years too, you know, he's really been coming into his own. I know he's an older player, but I'm saying um, he's really turned it on the past few years where he's finished high in a lot of events and beat a lot, a lot, a lot of, he's, be he's beaten almost every top player you can think of. Yeah, since 2021, he has stepped it up quite a bit. Um, and as you mentioned, older player, he is 41. His opponent, Dennis Grave, is 34. Looking to wham bam that break. Put out the hammer for that one. Do we see the one? No. Might like the kick and stick, George. But also might like the push. I personally like the. Eh, it's tough because. You're so close to the one, you might as well try and hit it, right? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the head rail, hit the top side of the one, or the right side as you look at the screen, and come back to the middle of the table, leaving the one ball go down by the four and probably get safe behind those balls. It's a carom shot. Yeah, very touchy. Shot. Um, it lays, lays easier than you think. Okay. You're just hitting for you. you you're hitting the top rail and going into the ball. He might have given he might be giving himself more angle to do that. Still the same shot.
Very interesting to see. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of stuck in between shots, so I wonder what he's going to do. Let's see the outcome. It looks like he can't kick behind it. He's calling the one ball. Interesting. Might be kicking up higher on this rail and playing more of a one pocket shot where he gets the one ball to the other side. Yeah, the kick and stick, that's what yeah. I was saying. Oh, but the one ball went in, so Grave was, go was gonna have the option. If he can see this, he's gotta take it. Sure, it's just a long straight in shot. And Nayuki, I know, wants to get it back to the table on this one. Well, he doesn't want to let Dennis do anything with the cue stick. Sit in the chair is all he wants. Winner of this match will be playing Carlo Beato. He has taken the semifinal three games to one over Federgorst. I think he, I think he could see it. Yeah, there's a shot clock here, so he's going to have to... Oh, it gives it back. Wow. He's going to be elevating slightly here with his cue stick. He's going to jump over the edge of the two. And he has a good chance of making this. He really does. Yeah, I've noticed he doesn't stay down on those shots at all. And he's about to leave... Dennis, safe. Now it looks like the one ball goes by the two. It's mm. awfully close. If it does, Dennis is looking good to close this set uh, out and tie things up at one. Careful not to get behind the five. More importantly, he needs to make the one. Well, I guess it didn't go by the two. Oh, always going to be all over this. Yeah, very surprised he went for that shot. It just felt like it wasn't. He did it like kind of half-heartedly. The six past the eight in the side. Looks like it does. From where he was. No, probably not. Probably not. Or he rather animated. He smells success. Sees the light at the end of the tunnel. And like I said earlier, he's just running right at it. Dennis has to stop him. He rattled off three games in a row to win that tying set. And then the first game in this one. He's either smelling success or the $30 hamburger they have for sale just out outside. Either way, very tasty. All right, two rails on the seven. <laughs> to go for the seven to the eight. Beautiful stroke there. You gotta just slow roll this in. Make the 10 in the opposite side pocket. And there it is. Two games to zero in the fifth and deciding set. Yeah, the body language from both players is so 
opposite, <laughs> where Naoki is very fast and ready to go, and it seems like Dennis's energy is a little drained, and he's not 100% there right now. And I think he, that can change fast, but he's going to need to do it in this next rack if he gets a chance. Boy, he's very animated, as you said. Dennis calm in his chair just biding his time waiting to get to the table. He's been deadly before. He's going to have to be again when he comes to the table. Yeah, he missed that one ball by a pretty good margin. He played a tough shot. Yeah, I felt like he wasn't necessary. I think the safety was better. Yeah. Yeah, but then again, if you would have made it, we would have been saying how great of a shot it was, right? Well, it was a half a pocket, maybe, that it went by the two. If it went by the two, apparently didn't because he shot it okay, to the other pocket. Three ball almost going in the corner, but rattling out. And now Dennis Grabe has a shot on the one. The seven nine is a little weird, so it's, he's not out of the woods yet. And the four ball is also laying weird, so... Just kind of weird way to to start. Long match. Straight drawback for Dennis. Not too much because he wants to follow the two ball to get to the three. Right about where he is is enough. He wants to be closer. That works. So you got to keep this angle on the three. It's very, very good to keep the bigger angle. So you don't have to work as hard to get for the four and the side by the nine. He's got a punch past the ten ball for this three. Right to about where he is, so straight English. Give it a good little pop that he likes to hit it with. That's right. He'll get it out and come over for the four. He's got the, does the four have a pocket? Yeah, side pocket by the side. Side, yeah. Hard to get there from here. He's going there with it, huh? Yeah, so he was saying what he was doing with his cue, he's seeing if you'd rather go a little too far or a little short. He'd rather go a little too far on this ball. He hit it perfect. Not saying that it's an actual thing, but he might play it off the nine if he's feeling weird. But I don't I don't think so. I think he's gonna float it in the side. And then play what the table has to offer. Oh, he missed it. Wow, and I think he left the Yuki a place where he might be able to spin this in with right, like extreme, low right, and bust out the 7-9. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe a little too thin, but it's definitely a thought. I think he can do it. This looks like he's going to come between the 7-9. He might come into the seven. A little bit of spin. Yeah, got to hit him with a lot of little... Oh, just like I said, but he got hooked. He's definitely going to be pulling out that jump cue. That is the second time he's opened up a ball and got hooked behind it. Remember early in the, I think the first set? First or second set, he had those two balls up by the head rail. was a seven and the eight and that said he should stun behind the eight for safety and he tried to break it out and he played safe <laughs> well he got safe he didn't play safe <laughs> uh, he's got a safety here just uh, uh, stun the cue ball behind the seven just cut, try to trap it right there tough to do but the five ball clears to the middle of the middle of the rail there you know, you could also just roll up on this. Very true. And then just, you know, play a little tactical game. That's what he's doing, see? So here you have to kick. Off the point. Exactly. A little one pocket strategy here. 
Just or just shoot it right in the pocket, I guess. <laughs> That's, I don't think he can get to the point. He's going to try to get the, oh, I, I, I'd rather hit the point with the cue ball real soft. See, I don't know why Dennis is getting up there. already. Oh. He does a ref for a reason, and you can't challenge the ref on anything, so what's the Does he double hit this? No, perfect. He got there with it. You know, I never understood why get people also get up. It's like there's a ref there for a reason, and if he's watching it, you can't argue with him anyway. That's right. So what's the point? No pun intended, because they're right next to the point. <laughs> Just tap. tap it in. That's tough to do. That's really tough to do. It is tough to do. I especially with the carbon shaft, because they get so much energy. With the no, wood shaft, especially because most people would be shaking so hard they couldn't execute it. This is pitter patter. I feel like time. I'm watching one pocket. <laughs> Same shot. Kind of forced to. They're going to do this until they're at the side pocket. They're going to do it till somebody double hits the ball. Stalemate, sorry. Oh, I don't like that. No, at all. not at all. Now you double rail and stick behind the uh, stick. Just stick the cue ball right there. Yeah, I didn't like that shot at all. You can even go try to get behind the six from here with a thin shot. See, that's what he's looking at. I don't mind that at all. Oh yeah, he's just clearing it. Oh no. Bad decision there, in my opinion. He's going to get it back. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Is he going to jump or is he going to go rail first? Or can he see it? He must be able to see it because there wouldn't be a reason to. He not. must be able to see it. I think he can see it. See, I don't like rolling this. It overcuts pretty easy. So he <laughs> hit the eight ball. He hit the eight ball with the cue ball. That's a foul. Well, I guess he thought he could see it, but maybe couldn't. That could prove to cost him the match. The way Oi has been animated this whole set, um, finish closing this out for three games, for a three-game lead and a break and run out to close it out. Yeah, I mean, it should at least cost them this wreck. Would you look at that? He's going to use, I don't know, he's using extension. I, a lot of pros go. <laughs> the bumper left. came out of the queue. Yeah, sometimes it does that. Is he going to draw back for a position to the side? Yeah, I believe so. It's not out of the woods yet. Let's see if he can cue comfortably here. He can. He always stays down on all the other shots, but then the ones he misses are kind of where it's just he kinda really pops up, yeah, like might really be, pops might up. Might be why he misses them. But he pops up with the cue as he delivers the cue is when he's popping up. Three to zero in the third and uh, fifth in deciding set. Dennis trying to make this not the last rack of the 
his tournament. But the way it's looking, Nuke Yoli is rolling really well. And Dennis has made a few crucial errors that have led to this 3-0 deficit. This is where he's broke, had the best success from when he's breaking. Regrouping himself here, ready for the break. And he hits these. He smacked him. A three ball might go. Two off the three, no. Nobody home. What's well, up? this is scripted for a comeback. You can't come back unless you get down first, right? That's right. He got the first part down. We just got to come back now. Do you just play this cue ball behind the seven? You know, I actually do like putting it behind the nine. Yeah, he's going to leak out there, maybe. Left a little something. Yeah, it looks. I think he left the very edge of it. But the nine ball is going to keep him from getting behind it. I think he hits the nine if he goes that route. Might play right behind this nine. Oh, you could see both sides of it. Oh wow, good shot. He played. What a shot, George. To a jump shot. Leaving a jump shot here. A little close. The jump key looks like his extension. Yeah, playing the one. He's got to get high and elevated on this cue to get over that seven so quick. Can you stop the ball on impact here? The jump shot. He might be able to. I'm not. A, I'm. I'm terrible. Some at guys are really good at this, so that's I why really I asked the question. Something I'm working on currently, the jump. It's all the timing. Well, he didn't leave an offensive shot unless he chooses to bank it, which I doubt. I. Th I can see him playing safe behind the eight. Yeah, I don't think he's going to take this bank on. But also, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. He is aggressive, and I will say it's a makeable bank. The, two, the, the cue ball is going to be going right into the two, um, which you might pocket both and have a shot on the three. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him so to shoot I, it, yeah. but I wouldn't shoot it. I leaked out a little bit maybe, He's unless he goes behind three. that three. Pretty and, slick. And look at this ten ball. He's going to have to spin to get to the one. Pretty slick there. The natural angle's not there. And with ball in hand here, you can do some heavy damage, like win the, win the match. Yeah, for sure. Two to the three lines up perfect. The four's in good shape. The five's above the pocket or right next to it. It's just all there. Got to make a good hit. He did. What does he leave? Not bad. Zero. What a shot. There you go, folks. Give him a round of applause. Good hit. Good results. Great reward. So far, we'll see how it turns out. You never know when someone pulls out a jump cue. Yeah, might go off the four into the corner pocket. Got to get a little higher on this. No, he's he can't. He doesn't think he can jump this. He's just kicking. I don't know why he keeps getting up like he's gonna referee the match or something. Dennis, like I think it's kind of odd. It's like you don't have any control over it. Why stress about it, right? Well, he's left a shot here. Dennis can do something now. Sure, you can see that one full. And stand right behind Dennis is Mike Pinozo from Billiards Digest and Kareem Balaj, the CEO and owner of Predator. He's going real first with this. Oh, wow, hit it too hard. Sitting front and center of the semifinal match. Yeah, you have to shoot the combo here. 
You also don't have to get a shot after, which is the problem. I'd honestly hit this with a lot of speed and try to get that one ball clear out of there. Maybe go... It'll go near the eight. Yeah, just like that. Clear him out. He's a shot in the lower right-hand corner now. Put some draw on it. Some low right sauce. Yeah, just kind of stunned it above the eight there. You got to be careful with that side pocket. Should be okay. Yeah, no draw on this or else. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah. cue ball. Oh. Safety. Oh. Pretty cagey. Pretty cagey. Good old save. What a shot. What a shot. Now Yuki Oi. Don't think the four passes the seven. Was runner up in this uh, World Ten Ball in 2021 to Eklund Kachi. He defeated Johan Chua in a fantastic match in the semifinals. Those of you who like to watch great pool, uh, put that on YouTube. Oi versus Chua in 2021, and you'll be treated to a great match right here at the Rio. Running out of time. <laughs> Showing some emotion he's get, well, he's here. He's getting excited. He, he smells it. He can taste it. This, oh, does it go by the seven? Does the four go by the seven? If it does, it's over. The six ball's still hard to develop, though. Yeah, it's not over yet. Yeah. It's not over till the Nuyuki always sings. That sounded better in my head. No, we're going to see a nice little uh, uh, samurai sword play <laughs> if he wins this with his Q. Nice blade. Do you remember, were you there in Arizona when uh, he won the shootout over Jesus Atencio? With 18 shots or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it was 14. They were tied at 14-14. Uh, Jesus misses his, and he makes he makes the shot. I remember seeing the video, yeah. Yeah. And so there must be room. He's really excited and animated here. Oh, he oh. played the combo. Oh. So he had it planned all the way along. What a great shot by Oi. Wow. Beautiful shot there. Straight back for the six here, over for the eight, and then it's just a matter of getting good position for this nine ball. You can close this out and meet Carlo Beato in the finals here at the Predator World 10 ball. You got a little straight here. Got some work to do. He might even consider using a little bit of high left. Yeah. But if he feels like he can stun this ball, he will. He likes hitting the ball on the harder side. I, li I like to follow with the, with the left, a little bit of high. Just lays right on the nine ball real nice. He went with a stun. Oh my he's goodness. not going to like it. I think he's okay. Uh, not as much. He's got to get on the nine. Correct. If you, if you go with follow on that, you're going to be a nice line for the eight ball. Here he is not. Still think he's the favorite here. Oh, he's going to draw on this ball. Wow. Wow. Great job. And he got on the nine because it doesn't come off the rail. No, it lays right on it, but it's just a follow shot to get on this 10. His excitement is <laughs> overwhelming him. And this 10 ball for his second trip to the final match in the Predator World 10 ball. Straight in. Will he meet Carlo Beato? Yes, he will. Now, Yuki Oi, on to the finals. Dennis Grabe's highest finish in the semifinalist here at the Predator World 10 Ball. Everyone out there in the world, thank you very much for joining us. Chris. Thank you, everyone, and congrats on being able to watch Yuki Oi get to the finals. What a great match. He'll be playing Carlo Beato, correct? Carlo Beato. What time? At 2.30 Pacific. Oh, coming up. 
see everyone next time. Thanks for watching, folks. George Stacha and Chris Reinhold signing out. Thank you.